What's up, y'all? I'm Christina, and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Where's your wand, bitch? Where's your wand? And that's oh exactly why she asked the count to bring exactly. it. That's literally the only reason I wanted to. She do had the shit planned. But where was the count, though? That is it. Hey, y'all, welcome back to Homegirls <laughs> Podcast. I feel like we can't come back from that because now we on Disney Channel. Oh it is God. what it is. And we'll get right into that later on. So, hey, y'all, it's me, C Thugger. Oh, my God. Hey, y'all, it's me, Temp. What it do, y'all? It's your girl Tatiana and DJ Envy. <laughs> no, I Charlotte just McGay. <laughs> y'all got some names right on, on y'all. Think that guy, damn. Charlotte, Angela McGee, McGee. I mean, <laughs> Charlotte McGee. It's your girl Rachel back again. I'm surprised. I'm glad I made it again this time. Period. <laughs> full cast, bitch. Full, full cast. Yeah, full yeah. Full yeah. I was yeah. like in rare for form. Don't ask why. Thank you. <laughs> and this, this, I'm fighting with this mic, bro. Oh, okay. Ooh, don't fight with him. Don't I'm, play with him. Don't, don't play with him. Okay, how was everybody? How's everybody's weekend? How was everybody's weekend and week? Okay. What did I do this past weekend? I don't remember. Well, um, this past weekend, um, I welcomed a new addition to my family. Yay. I have a little brother, y'all. He is so cute or whatever. Yeah, he need a better nickname than what you gave him because... What was she, what did she give him? She called him Donnie, but I feel like uh, Meatball yeah. is so iconic. Like, oh, like, me, like Meatball is like, the first off, we come let me, on listen, li- no, we, we said the Don. Here's the thing. Yeah, I really got to get to know this baby because I don't know him. <laughs> okay. I, I really don't. throwing names I, out. Like it gotta see what got, got like, Is it Sadan or bro. is it how how do you say it? It's it's Sadan. Sadan, okay. Right. So yeah, you know, I don't really know the little guy like that, like talking about. So we're gonna go with Donnie for right now. But just wait, the iconic nickname is on the way. Yeah, we need it's we coming. need when I seen Donnie, I was like, I mean, I yeah. I mean, you know, it was okay. like you know, uh, uh yeah, but we're not going to actually call him that. Like, half of the time, I'd be like, what's Meatball real name? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. his yeah. name is Meatball. Because, okay. like, that's just the motherfucking it. Yeah. yeah. That is Meatball. Me- the icon. Oh, yeah. Can we just call him Spaghetti? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know no. what? No. Why not? Meatball. meatball and Spaghetti. No, y'all. Getty. Spaghetti. Well, look, Getty. Sauce. Sp- spaghetti is, okay. Sauce. Sauce might work. Sauce. What would we call his him His name that? is A.S.A. I would call him Sauce. sauce. What up, Sauce? Lil Sauce. Lil Saucy. Lil Sauce Walker. Then I would just have to assume that Tati is a spaghetti. I'm I'm more of a... She's a noodle. (laughs) (laughs) I'm a good noodle. Oh, my goodness. I'm more of a penny pasta, more rigatoni. I'm a little little thick. I prefer a penne. (laughs) It's me. Um, Penne. Period. But, yeah, we're going to report back on that, though. Okay, well. We're going to report back on that. I'm I'm really I'm kind of thick like a slice of lasagna, but Come you know. Come on, lasagna. Oh, got you the, the thick noodle. <laughs> per, I per. I know that's right. The mm-hmm. Well, we had a date night this weekend, which oh. was deserved because last week, uh-huh. yeah, my boy woke up. Braxton woke up at four in the morning, cutting up. Wow. Mm. Wanted to eat, wanted to play. He I smeared boo boo on the carpet one day. <gasps> oh my! Whoa! No. Hold on, wait a minute. Is this what I have to look forward what? Yeah. to? Yeah. Okay. How do we, how do we get there? He just be doing stuff. But you, you know? know what? It's it's giving very much sensory. Like, mm-hmm. what is this? I want to feel it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and, well, we, and little so boys we are back, nasty. We went so. down a diaper size this week because we were like, well, maybe the diaper was too big. Because mm-hmm. uh-uh. I feel like the day that he woke up, he also had peed in the bed. He he wore pull ups, so we were like, well. But I was like, his diaper wasn't that wet, so I was like, okay, maybe the diaper too big and it was like leaking more or anything. Mm-hmm. Either, either He's way, taking we had, that off. You said what? He's taking that motherfucker off. No, it was still on. It was a, it's a pull up. So how did he get the shit? I don't know if that's what I'm saying. I don't know if he's because sometimes I'd be like, I see a booty cheek, like his little booty cheek in there. So I'm like, maybe he boo boo and it came out because I didn't feel like he had went in his diaper. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, but he also okay. went in his diaper. You just never know. So that's the thing. My parents. Yeah. So we had us a date night. We went um, and we saw D. Ray Davis this weekend. Oh, okay, at cool. It was so good. He was he, funny. He was really funny. He was looking cute too. Oh, we were kind of close to the stage, and I wanted to be like, "You looking good?" Because he he lost a little weight from what I was last seen. Oh, so I was like, "I was like, you looking good, D. Ray?" Because I was right there. Yeah. But you know, comedians. They like to make jokes about you. And I was I'm like, I don't know. Right. That's, that's why I'll be like, I, if I go, I'm sitting in the back. Oh, the, so we middle, went. Mid, okay, so we went. And I got to be the baddest bitch in there. Okay, because. They real, statue cause. where we went, and we were, they sat us close to the stage. Oh. Like, because it was kind of like first come, you know, so that's just where we ended up. Oh, okay. But it was good, yeah. I would have been like this the whole night. Girl, for real, hiding. hiding. It was some people, in, some older people in front of us, and uh, like they had like one, one of the men, had, you know how old men wear like, 
hat. The fucking the fedora. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, So he was like talking about the man outfit and he was like, he was saying, okay, my boy got his whole uh, suede outfit on. And he Ooh. was like, uh, like throughout the show, he had made some kind of joke and he was like, because I'm just saying, everybody don't have money. Everybody can't wear a suede outfit. Like, you know, so that was kind of the joke that he kept going back to. So that was kind of funny. I like, yeah. it, though. I like when comedians do stuff like that. Oh, he, but he was hilarious. Like the whole time we was really cracking up. And Brianna, y'all know he has like a calm personality. He was like hitting me and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I know he was hitting me. Yeah, okay, okay. Was, let her hear that. Oh, about. and. I saw Marianne on Friday. I oh, yes. I saw that. Yes. Man. That was a good time. So, no, let's fucking talk about it. Because <laughs> we and okay. Tyson did not get Because first off, we did, we did not know even that Marianne and Orion was going to be there. We just kind of looked up on it. And so, you know, we had, it wasn't enough space in the section for us. So we had to go to the back. It, we did not tell them <laughs> to go to the back. Anyways, we had to go to the back, and so we would sit back there with some other friends, and they come back with motherfucking Omarion on Y'all, we're in the picture. club, and we know that they're going to be there, so we're literally like, all right, we're waiting on Omarion and Orion. On when they came, we saw people, we just ran over there and took pictures, and Omarion was like, really, he has been the coolest celebrity I've met so far. He was walking around the club, taking pictures with everybody, and... That's good, though. You could see, like, he kept taking pictures, and he was like... And he was taking a picture. And I could tell, like, really, that was a lot for him, but he was just doing it anyway. My friend, she's like real holistic. Why did she write? She was like talking to Orion and she's like, Oh, you need to go to this like little spiritual shop I went to today. She wrote the name of the shop on it on a napkin and wrote her number on the back and put it in his pocket. I know that's why. Hey, hey, I know that's that? motherfucking was it, right. Uh, your quiet one. Just we'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs> did he? But that was fun. Oh, no. That was a lot of that stuff. And um, my brother and I are like really big on like we love comedy. We just watch comedy shows, mm-hmm. all kind of stuff, like mm-hmm. small people. And D Ray's opener was Ray Lepowski with this white guy that we love. I mean, love. And I was talking to him. I was like, I see you on Martin first man stand up. I love you so much. He was like, bro. And so he was talking. He was like, no, that show. He was like, tell me about the show. And we had took a picture together. I had FaceTime my brother. He was like, oh shit, Ray Lepowski. <laughs> so it was real cute. Like really, I had a great uh-huh. weekend that's good. after break. Beat my ass all week. <laughs> all week. I'm, I'm talking about do 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 do. That's crazy. Yeah, Why Brax do that to you? That's wild. That's no, that is crazy. Cause like, if y'all see Brax, he's just he's like a happy go lucky baby. And, he, and the thing is, he wasn't even being like terrible. Like, fuck you, mom. He was just doing like <laughs> he was just being a stuff. kid. <laughs> and real life style of shit. Do y'all use um binkies? Mm-mm. Well, then maybe you want. Cause I feel like the reason that we've been having such, excuse me such a struggle is because we we're winning the pacifier. Okay, um, yeah. And so he haven't been able to sleep good and all kind of stuff. So I feel like you may not. Baby Zara be trying to eat food. He don't give a damn about no pinky. I give him a Cheeto puff today. A Cheeto? Cheeto puff? No, let me tell yeah, y'all something. Because I've been giving him the little bitty baby ones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I would say, shit, you might as well get a Cheeto puff. Let's pig out. No, look, let me tell y'all something. One day, I'm on Instagram. I see his dad with a taco in his hand. And he keeps on like putting it towards his mouth. That poor baby almost I was. I saw that. That like, was so funny. I, I, told, I, I said, Temp, what is he eating a taco with? Gums because he gummed that motherfucker taco down. down. Every fucking thing. I'd be like, mm. yeah. So parents, y'all beware because y'all y'all babies do. Y'all babies really some really some food gangsters. Cause Braxton yeah. Braxton tried to run up on my high wings before, which, which is funny because the older they get, the more picky they become. Like in mm-hmm. that toddler stage, so it's like right now they want everything, and then they like, yeah. oh, I have a refined palate and that refined palate. And it's like, girl, mm-hmm. but sit my down thing, and is, eat this my thing be like, lasagna. like some of them don't even ever eat no motherfucking honey buns. Why the fuck you want mines? You don't even know what this is because it's food and Ugh. stores. Oh, they gonna eat a honey bun. That's the thing. Yeah, once they right. get, once, once, every once time I sit down and eat now, he'd be like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I'm like, hello? Fuck. Hey. <laughs> What's up? Well, I just <laughs> did. My last weekend was my last weekend of spring break. So. Mm. Aww. Ha ha. Bitch, fuck? fuck you. <laughs> and look- now I'm back at work and I'm in the trenches. Like the rest of us that don't fucking work for a school. Okay, girl. Oop. Like, relax. Cause it's you been, used to be there. You used to right. be there. It's, so it's really, it's really for fucked the, past the teachers. Two episodes. What's going on? What's the what? Why y'all beefing so hard? This is the second episode in a row y'all been beefing. Each other. <laughs> we, <laughs> have, we, have, we haven't seen each other. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> we are on each other's neck. Look at me. Y'all need to reconnect. Let's go get coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about how I was victimized by white people at the crawfish place. It's not her. It's her fault. She should have went the way I went. No, it. No, I. I, I will. I will take accountability. I. I would 
take accountability for that. The white lady However, the, the next time I'm calling Fox 26 and Quanell LX, if you white motherfuckers touch me again, <laughs> I want that to be known. <sighs> okay. okay. Well, all righty then. Tell right. Me. I'm so confused. <laughs> um, I had a market on Saturday. It was oh, cool. Good. It was cold. Yeah. Oh, it was cold. Yeah, it was freezing. Was people out there though? Mm-hmm. Do you ever do a market and feel like, damn, we really didn't get our, a good return on it? All the time. For real? Hmm? How many risks in business? I'd be scared. No bullshit. Okay. Well, let's get into our icebreaker. Um, damn, I thought that was the icebreaker. <laughs> no, I just want to ask y'all how the y'all intro. are. The icebreaker's got to be cute and fun. What they call it at work, they call it, you have to do something. But it's basically like, make sure everybody good. Oh, like a little check-in. A check-in. Oh, yeah. okay. But it's, it's another name it's, for it. It's the check-in. A check-in. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna go. We're gonna go fast on these. Y'all gotta pick one and stick to what y'all oh, pick. Oh God! Uh, All right, she get them on so her. This, 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 this is millennial. This is millennial knockout. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So all these are millennial things. Mm. All right. Our first one is yo millennial white girl song. Since you've been gone, pocket full of sunshine or a party in the USA. Party in the USA. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna pay. I gotta pay for the sunshine. Since you've been gone. Since you've been gone. Okay. Good. I didn't know. I didn't know we were all gonna. If it was gonna be, I was trying not to make them like where we all was like, girl, easily. Okay, great. Next one is um, Disney decom series version. Okay. Okay, the Twitches series versus the High School Musical series. Twitches. Twitches. I don't like High School Musical. I love High School Musical. Y'all crazy. Versus Halloween Town series versus Cheetah Girl series. Cheetah Girl. Bitch, you out of fucking line. <laughs> are you from Pussy? You, Pussy. 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 Are you from Pussy? I just knew you was going to easily be like Halloween Town. Yeah. I, I was a Cheetah Girl. She I literally told said last story. episode how her, her know, friends was the Cheetah Girl. I was literally a Cheetah Girl. And they sang at the end. <laughs> and everybody came swarmed up. Oh, yeah. Remember? <laughs> like, <laughs> Cheetah Girl. Is- it's oh, very much a part of my like boombox. childhood. You, I I'm can't stuck mm, because Halloween I town. liked Halloween <laughs> Town too, and I did like Cheetah Girls. But you know about the whole series. all the Cheetah Girls. Oh, but no, I would, I would, I would still pick Cheetah Girls. I think I still. Pick I would Cheetah watch Girls. Cheetah Girls at any moment in yeah. time. Halloween Town, I only get nostalgic. The first one was the really good. See, I watch. I okay. can't get into all the other ones. So. Mm. The, I think for me, because it's really out of High School Musical and Cheetah Girls, but for me, the Cheetah Girls, like, even without the last one, mm. the other two just can stand alone by themselves. You gotta cool. strut like it, man. Hey, <laughs> let me tell you something. No, I, I think the, the Cheetah the Girls are really was live, too. I don't know. I wasn't a One World Which one? girl. Cheetah Girls, One World. And then, and then you can't get uh, the Spain oh, one was good, too. The Spain one was Oh, yeah. Amigas. Whatever she was saying. Okay, That's great. <laughs> Next one. Saying. Uh, this is regular TV show. Disney regular TV show. Okay. That's all right. Rest on Raven versus Liz McGuire versus Kim Possible. That's all Raven. That's all Raven. I was a, a Kim Possible bitch. You a though. hold because I definitely was Kim on um, Kim Possible. But I would do That's all Raven because black women. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And it was more entertaining because I mean it was the actual cat. We were looking at cartoons. And then like I mean okay. That's all Raven had Devon on there. Girl, Ooh, the love me so Devon is thick when, when she called him Devon the full bitch, I was like, yes, that's the one. <laughs> when no Chaz problem. turned blue and he painted his face blue. And yeah, went out there yeah, with, the, with the boom box. With the boom box. Oh, when, he came, when he came for prom. Oh. Yeah, I remember when Raven turned into a cow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she was like. Uh, that's yeah. when. That's when. <laughs> it wasn't the Hollywood. The Halloween. No, that was. Wait, was it? That it's was the Halloween episode. Oh. Yeah. I was thinking about the episode whenever. Um. Whenever Chelsea, it was something. Chelsea had brought uh, her favorite artist or something. It was like a vegan artist. Or a vegetarian oh, yeah, artist. Sunshine. Okay. Sunshine. Ever since the day I was born, <laughs> I've been in love with sweet <laughs> yellow corn. <laughs> nibbling and nibbling and corn on a cob. No one is Covered in butter, butter, even a glob. And even in my teeth, it gets a sticky. It. Oh, I love it best <laughs> with my mom. Deep fried chicken. Chicken, bro. Oh, did I say chicken? I I meant celery. celery. (laughs) Oh, my God. It was like, I am am rainbow. 
yes. 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 That's why it's always that's a raven. Yes, it's always. It is. That Sorry, I, it took me there. No, that was a good one. I'm glad. <laughs> which is funny because I love the episode, but my song, which isn't even a raven, which is crazy, but my song is uh, Alone in the Hallway. Just <laughs> 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 Chelsea ate that hard. I don't give a fuck. No, and then the one with the oak tree on top of all the oh, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, it was lit. Yeah, it was it was the music, yeah. it was the comedy, it was all that shit. Kim Possible was a good show. Mm -hmm. Lisa McGuire was good too, but she wasn't I got up there. Lisa That's McGuire was good. Like Lisa too. Disney Channel versus Nickelodeon versus Cartoon Network. Ah, oh god. Oh, okay. you know what? You know what? I'm I'm gonna say Nickelodeon because SpongeBob literally oh. is still a part of my life to this SpongeBob day. SpongeBob is good for the It was to, to this day. I'm trying to see what else can hold Nickelodeon after. Besides SpongeBob, I don't know because I I always, to... Disney was always that bitch for me. Like it, when I talk about the true. shows, the show, like when I was making this list, I really couldn't think of that many Nickelodeon shows mm -hmm. that I was like, SpongeBob yeah, was the a one. A lot of people yeah. I had an argument between Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon, but I was more of a Nickelodeon kid anyways because I was watching all that. I was watching, you know, Zoe 101. Mm -hmm. I was watching all that. So, I guess I, like, I really liked the Amanda Show and shit like that too. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie. Now Nickelodeon had me when they came out with uh, Danny Phantom. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't like that shit. Oh, that was like my it. motherfucking show. Girl, yeah, I was watching Jimmy Neutron. See, I was, Jimmy yeah, Neutron. I was a Jimmy Neutron, uh, a Family All Parents type of bitch. Oh, yes. Family, family All Parents. Bro. Family All Parents. So cold. Okay. That era of, of cartoons, was I was in it. that. Yo, Danny Spongebob. Fanson, he was just 14. Bitch, every day. <laughs> I, nah, every fucking day. I ain't gonna lie, though, but Johnny, I don't know why, but I love Johnny Bravo. I thought the shit was... Listen, Johnny, Johnny Bravo, Bravo had one objective. Where the hoes at? Get the bitches. I'm I talking about Johnny Bravo. <laughs> and I, I never like got no bitches. I'm, and, and listen, and it's a uh, tenacity for me. Coward. Okay. Purge the Cowley Dog. Cowley Dog. Oh, like Ed, 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 Ed and Eddie. But low-key, that hoe was scary as fuck. Cow and Chicken. It was. No, it was. Cow and Chicken was so stupid. Yeah. Do y'all remember Cat Dog? Yeah, I love Cat Dog. Oh, my gosh. I love Cat Dog. Hey, Arnold was my shit. Dexter's Lab was my shit. It's Dexter's Lab. Not by my heart. And Dexter, Get out of my head, my head, my head. Dexter had like a little spinoff they used to come on, and it was like uh, some. It was basically like the Avengers. They had like a Hulk kind of nigga. They had like a Captain America nigga. Bitch, Dexter couldn't tell me nothing. Period. Every day. Okay, great. E keep, I'm keep going because I I got a couple of more. T Pain versus Lil Wayne. This the this the millennial dream. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. T Pain. <laughs> I'm sprung, bro. He had, let me tell you, T Pain ain't never make a motherfucker. I'm single. Come on, fuck? bro. I understand. T Pain ain't never say G5 sitting on the roadway. And I know the chop words. Call that bitch Beyonce. No, I do. No, but look. it's something about. T but I can't. Cash but I can't money is an army. I'm walking with purple I hearts on me. Carry you talking to the sergeant? Body marked up like a subway in Harlem. Call him. We see a baby. Please say the. Baby, if you don't see me way. on the block, I ain't trying to hide. I blend in with the hood, I'm camouflaged. Band and the tie, so mommy join my troop. Every time she hear my name, she salute. I like them boys over here, they looking strong tonight. Y'all, I done threw my fucking stylist okay, in the bag. Like, this nigga dropped the new uh, iPad. Millennial Shit. kid pastime, playing outside or watching TV? Playing outside. <sighs> I'm gonna say playing outside because that's where the character was motherfucking built. That's how. That's where I learned how I to love roast motherfuckers. I that's me. how I, I learned how to do a whole bunch. Because my orange Rugrats tapes are so nostalgic to me. Mm. So I don't, mm. I'm gonna say play outside because I turn maroon every summer. This lady, bro. I did. My mom used to tell me. You used to like that? Like that was so. Oh, no, you, you I did just it more turn often. maroon every summer. Like I would be a burnt to a crisp every fucking. So then you should say playing, watching TV because why would you want that? <laughs> no, I no, would that's all day. Uh, okay. Listen, I watch TV at night. Running through the sprinklers. And then, and then the hold on, when you got older, you used to sit around the motherfucking uh, air conditioning uh, thing. Girl, I had. Which I know it was. It was the middle. It was the middle area age between that when you used to race niggas. With no shoes on, right, bro. Up and down the or street. Or people coming over to your house. I had these little. No, it's on. really the come over all the time. The knocking. Nigga knocking, yes. No, can Carissa come outside? Yeah. Ooh. And don't don't let it be before noon. Your mom be like, hell no, she ain't going outside. <laughs> Man, I stayed playing outside at my grandparents' house when I used to go over there. There was like this field, like it was my friend's house and her grandmother's house, and it was just an open field. They had like a, a play thing. We used to go play over there. Period. Run with the dogs. Like, tag. Shit was exactly. Your childhood was not lit. With a whole and you did not get chased yeah. by a couple of dogs. Okay, I'm going to skip this one. I got two more. <laughs> pretty Ricky versus B2K. Pretty, oh. Ricky. pretty Ricky. Pretty Ricky. Mm. I was a Pretty Ricky fan. 
I was also a pretty. I'm gonna girl. say B2K because B2K they took my allowance every week with Word Up magazines. Pretty Ricky can't do that. Pretty Ricky did that for Come me. Come on, Word Up magazine. Chris Brown did that for me too. It was oh, Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Hey. I didn't talk about, about it's CDs. Oh. I said Chris Brown did that for me too with the Word Up magazines. If I yeah. seen him on it, I was like, please, yeah. please, <laughs> please, let me get, <laughs> please, please let me get that. So okay, okay. all right, last one. Boy. Stomp the yard versus you got served. Stomp the yard. Yeah. Um. Nah, I had to do it for Lil Saint. You got served. You got served for me. If heaven was a mile away. But are they close? Back up. <laughs> Oh, I was more something. Go to hell. We remember when that, when that nigga. Same time frame though, because when Stomp the Yard, how old we? We was in high school. Mm, middle. Uh, uh, middle. We was in middle school. Yeah, we uh, were like in like middle, well, later B2K middle school. Was B two K was elementary, right? You got served. Was I like mean, late elementary. I feel like early middle. Late. No, it was like they probably was like sixth grade and eighth grade, mm -hmm. or sixth grade and seventh grade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was that era of like dancing hard is like the yeah. shit right and now. shit. I think I'm gonna have yeah. to go. Ooh, mm. Yeah. Okay. Fun. Okay. I was trying to give us like March magnet, March Madness type bracket style stuff, but then I was like, how the fuck was gonna do a bracket with no, you know, that's too hard. So I was like, okay, let's just do Millennial Knockout. So. Her love that. That's very cute. Um, moving You're on. You're welcome to our <laughs> homegirl of the week. It's Angela Bassey, y'all. Period. Period. My favorite auntie. Sub auntie. The favorite. Hey, auntie. Our Sora. Period. As well. Oh, it was Ooh. really when, um, at the, what was it, the Oscars that just happened? Mm -hmm. When Michael B. Jordan. Pause. Why the fuck uh -oh. would you get on that fucking um, mm -hmm. podcast shit and put, we talk about how Michael B. Jordan was being corny. I never said that fucking shit. We didn't talk about how he was being corny. Mm -hmm. And if you get on the fucking Instagram right now, I made a fucking oh PSA. I made a PSA on our page because I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> you leave, you let a bitch put the shit on, uh, you let her type in her little types on this, the uh, uh -huh. podcast thing and she just gonna go up there. Now, if okay. my man mad at me tonight when I get home. Oh my God. Okay, well, well y'all, guess what? what? If you, wanted, if you wanted, if you wanted to say something else, bitch, you you uploaded. Amen. Amen. Bitch, you broke your laptop one time, and all of a sudden, <laughs> hey, you, never, you a lazy hoe. No, well, but I'm stay here and be quiet because I ain't uploading nothing. But it was really cute how no, your strengths and weaknesses. How Michael you B. Jordan and the civil rights looking nigga had uh had said, "Hey, I'm oh, Jersey, bro. Thank bro. you. I don't know his name, sweetie. I don't. I don't know. You're sick. When I see my man, it's like nobody else around him. I don't even know what what's is? going on. Is that what it is? <laughs> but when he said, hey, auntie, to her at the Oscars, and she was sitting there, I was like, oh, shit, girl, I'm about to pass out. Oh, my God. Not Ooh. next. Auntie. <laughs> uh. Yes, but why she the uh, homegirl of the week? So I definitely feel like my girl was snubbed. She was absolutely but, snubbed, but I didn't even see them. And I would say this. I really I hate like how people shit. are, like, really, like, you know, outside of, Jamie Lee Curtis being white, um, you know, really just uh, saying that, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis deserved it because my thing is a lot of the things they said, the reason why she deserved it could be the same things you say for Angela Bassett. Because she no, had it, because she yeah. had been being it's passed like, it's like It's like, yes, they've both been passed up. Yes, they've both have been had iconic roles. Yes, they both did great jobs. Yes, they both have skin in the game. So really, I just boil it down to colorism. And racism. Yeah, that's what I said. It's well, yep. up with the people who picked her. So I have not, not seen either of the movies, but I can guarantee We're you still that, the, that the fucking performance that Angela Bassett gave after that. And I'm like, y'all, she her co-star died. Yeah. In the movie before that. And she had yeah. to like, you know, they all talked about how they had to like relive this whole situation. And I, and I mean, like I mean, and he, and he died literally and figuratively in the show, yeah. in the, in the movie. Yeah. So yeah. they had so to like, she had to they had a funeral, twice. all the kind of shit. And so I'm like, yeah, if you're talking about who deserves it, all she did was end the movie. The nigga had been trying to kill her for 20 years. Uh. And, that, Hello? and I said she was that, barely in the last movie. No, Hello? Is that, is that what she got the Oscar for? No, I don't think she got it. She, she couldn't have gotten it for I Halloween. I was fucking Halloween. What did she get it for? What else she been doing? That's even worse. I, would, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't what fucking know. Mean? That's why I said. That's, that's why, why I'm asking. Did she get it for that? Because, yes, it should be an absolute ro uproar. Nah, you, nah, I just, I don't believe she got it for Halloween. That just, so that's she crazy. She got it, period. She probably got it so for it, another movie. Okay, so what an, was Another the, movie that's not notable? What was the Oh, award? everything, it was Best Supporting Actress. Everything, Everywhere, All. That's the movie something? she was in? All at once, yeah. What movie is that? Never heard of it. Oh, and then Angela was... Black, Black Panther. Panther. Okay, yeah, no. Okay, we go, I'm going I'm to watch it and I'm going to tell y'all because I, am, I ain't going to lie. If she ate that hoe... 
But that's the thing. <laughs> I've heard I've heard other people say people really ate her ass up in the movie. Like it had other actresses. But she in, was but it's best supporting actress. Oh, other be, other supporting other support. actresses. So I'm yeah, watch you know it. what? We're gonna come back when and we're gonna we gonna tell you exactly what is that? You don't fucking don't, know. Was mm. it in the theaters? Or was it next? Yeah, it has to be in the theaters. Okay, well. Right? Okay. The Oscars is about movie th- like girl, bitch, you know, don't give me the line. Mm. I don't know. Questions. At this I'm point, I'm watch at it. this point, it's just a uh, another event for the uh, stars to get dressed up and drunk, we look like the Golden Globes. Um, but yeah, let's, I was let's, on Paramount Plus. Got y'all next week. I got y'all. I got y'all next. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. But let's move on to getting real messy. Speaking of white bitches, um, <laughs> one that uh just really she was not on my big old card this year because Larsa Pippen like. This Girl. bitch was not on my bingo card. She, she always, always fucking somebody's fun or something, doing something crazy. Right. Here. So, but speaking of fucking, um, she said <laughs> I do not believe that, that she up. fucked four times a night. Every every, every night, night for 23 years. <laughs> no, I'm going to just say this because she been in the game for a long time. She been divorced from Scotty a long time, still in the game, still getting niggas. I believe her because oh, Brian, look, like, if he get though. four times a fucking month. But that's, why cycle, I only, but that's why I only got him. Well, she said four times a you know a month for all them years, but you know four times, I mean, four times every a day. day, four times a day. Yeah, she, and every day. That's how y'all. I did the math every day. That's thirty three thousand five hundred eighty times. At this point, that motherfucker. That Hold motherfucker on, how long was that married? Horsepower. Twenty three years. Twenty three years. It's that man. And so my Who thing is, he got a bad back. Maybe <laughs> maybe she mean maybe she mean. No, granted, I think that she's. I think she's saying four rounds, because I'm like four times. That's okay, but she said every. But she didn't say every. Sing, she didn't say every single night for the whole time I was married to him. Maybe she just means that they fucked four times. Like, did, did she not say that? She I don't know. I'm asking. Day. I watched she, the said, video. she said. I we had sex four times a night every night for 23 years. That came out of her mouth. Girl, that's, that's what she said. That's what I'm saying. Are you? All y'all do is lie. She also said. But you know what? I don't believe none she say. Cause she also said that she didn't. Uh, that, she said that she didn't know. That bitch is a fucking liar. She, she said, know goddamn well that boy said, ain't he the second? Is he the first or the second boy? I have no idea. Okay, but listen, this is what she the said. The nigga's the first boy. She she's a fucking no, liar. No, this is what she said. She said that Scotty and and Michael only played together for one year during their marriage. For during their marriage, so I guess he started playing with Michael the like you know the, in the last year of their marriage, and okay. Michael and his wife are going through a divorce. Girl. Some shit, but she was like, we wasn't, it was no, I never met the wife nor the kid when they were playing with each other. But so you know, she was like, so I wasn't around him. The grandma but the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. But I will say this though, you know, like, I know a lot of times, especially like with like, especially with black women, when we see these white women with these like athletes and all that, I don't even, I don't even get like, you know, mad about it because these bitches got to work. They got to suck dick, fuck every day. I don't want to do all that. So man, hey, that's fine. So, I was no, I say, these doors. You know, white girls get down a little different. I wouldn't put it past that ass now. Yeah, because yes. bitch, I don't give a fuck who I was with. Y'all know how I feel about Michael B. Jordan, bitch. Four times a fucking day is ridiculous. <laughs> That is ridiculous. And, love him. and that's the dick I would want. Like a lot, lot, lot. Like, 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 let me get in. I feel like, it's just like, girl, four times in a week to me is a lot. <laughs> that, is, that is. That it is. is. Four times. So four times, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Shit, four Monday, days. Wednesday, Monday, Friday, 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 bitch. Tuesday, that's a lot. She four said four rounds. times in a week. She, she said, said four, four times, times a, a night, ladies. Okay. Four times a night. So that means she's fucking rounds. four, and eight, twelve, six, and twenty. Liar. Twenty-four. That's what I'm saying. Twenty-eight the times a motherfucking crazy. week. And t- bro, I don't give a damn what she say. She knew that boy. And she talked about 23 years. Cause y'all remember when y'all first started fucking with y'all niggas and it was like, oh, I just like him so much. You wasn't even fucking that nigga four times a day. With I that. wasn't. Exactly. And I know. So for Mark, 23 know. years, you're you telling tripping. me on year 21, you were still like, come on, daddy. Like, no, yeah, nah, she, girl, she, she definitely, she definitely was. Lying. Damn, no, she I'm definitely was that. laying there. Lying. She was laying there, there was like, I wish I could get this over with. Who she, was like, interview, who she was interviewing with? It was, oh, bro, I can't even tell you what she You know when you be in the moment, you just be saying shit? Yeah. She was just saying shit. Yeah, okay. Tamron Hall. There it is. Why the fuck would she sit there and lie to a Tamron like that? On on her show? On her show. bro. Girl, not on on the talk show. Yeah. Cameron should have said, girl, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
talk because I do not believe that hoe. She knew that little boy. Okay, girl, that's going them, down. That's them, that and shit, first bro. of all, that's them Vlad TV type of lies. Don't come over here with that shit. Right on right. uh, goddamn daytime television. Yeah, you a fucking... <sighs> I dot you in your face. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking swear. I'm with her, bro. <laughs> Y'all know that nigga? Y'all know that uh, video with that uh, man? He was like, he was like, <laughs> he was like, he was like get your ass. <laughs> <laughs> because that reporter was on him by the corner? Yes. 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 Get back. Yes. I can't get back. Okay. No, Hold on. Speaking no, of no. bullshit, I'm going to deviate real fast and we're going to come back. Did y'all watch... That video with uh, Anthony Hamilton and the baby. They got a song together where the baby was fucking Anthony Hamilton, girl. Y'all said she was like, oh, oh, no, no, young nigga. Oh, no, I did not no. Why the fuck did Anthony Hamilton do that? Are they from the same place? I don't know, but nigg state? niggas get uh, niggas get remember. blackballed and start trying to ask Anthony Hamilton for it. Okay, so here's girl, let's, let's talk about Because I was sad about that. Hold on, look. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I remember when I Hold first on, young it, nigga. because <laughs> my homegirl sent it to us in the chat, and she's like, y'all, y'all got to listen to the song with Anthony having the baby. And I'm thinking, oh, it's like a slow jam. No. I'm thinking I'm the baby thinking was like, trying to get his life I'm back I'm thinking, you together. know, because Anthony Hamilton, like, come on, bro, that's... You know what I'm cool. saying? We cool. I'm yeah. thinking I'm about to hear me. The I thought R -B was about to be cool. I thought he was no. like, girl. You know I'm what like, I can't no, say? Y'all giving me, y'all trying to give me mm -hmm. R. Kelly and uh, Mr. Big. Ah, exactly. I was going to say that. We know how that shit ended. No. Oh, mm. uh, okay, but I will say this. Black people, I'm really proud of y'all because we successfully got rid of that nigga and Daniel Caesar. So look at us. Daniel Caesar Kudos. ain't been back since. Okay. Girl, we replaced that nigga with Givion so fast. And Givion almost about to get the boot. It's just the day that I met he about to get the boot. Because remember, he tried to sing and say his mic. Oh, yeah. No, that his mic was messed up. Stop playing with him. Stop playing with him. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Moving on. I feel like Daniel Caesar probably just went back to just writing. But speaking of um, artists that uh, got replaced. Who? Oh. Or did they ever get replaced? Who? Oh. Did they ever have a hit? Stop playing Young with John. him. Stop playing with him. Stop oh, wow, with him. you're a hoe. Nah, kidding. So we want to talk about Megan. Megan, why you why you told that? Why she you asked that man that? that? She is a hoe ass. So is it going down or what? It, has, it is going uh, down. That nigga got hit. Stop playing. And his features go hard too. No, it really do. So um, y'all. Time era. A really uh, like a little recap. Megan James, you know from Bad Girls Club, she basically was interviewing um, Young Jock, and she go ask this man after twenty years. How have you sustained your, how, like, how did she say it? Sustaining a career after yeah, having how, one hit How have 20, you been able to sustain a career for 20 years? How have you hit? been able to forge your life all these years with one hit? Being a one hit wonder. That's basically what she said. And that nigga's not a one That's hit. crazy. First off, okay. He said, he said people been uh, shading him. He wasn't shocked. But he said he, they told me he wanted to say, baby, stop playing with me. <laughs> Young Jock is so fucking sassy. I love him. I love him too. Okay. Is his hair so look fantastic? Fantasia cut. No. Oh, no? oh, okay. He uh, great I am. He He's, well, he's had a, if you don't want me, then don't talk to me. Haircut. I love it. But stop it. playing with me because right now, I mean, because he do got his. Because Zoom. 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 Got me mm. that house? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not him? That was That's him? No, with, with Boosie, right? You would zoom in that hoe. And I zoomed right by a 765. No, he did. on the tire. But is that not his song? It's oh, Boosie it's Boosie's song. song. Okay, he's on there. Okay, but he did. What was the other song I said? Uh, I know you see it. That's his song. And that was fucking hit. Mine. Whoa. What's, what's he on show, Jolene? Or am I making that up? Drone. I don't know why. I'm though. cleaning it, bitch. I think, no. Now I'm finna sold and lean in it, He bit. was also on, uh, he had brought them boys. Oh, that look, mama boys so out. He had them I love out. y'all, girl. We were gonna yeah. ask nigga Sean, gonna ask nigga Daddy. Yeah, yeah, he was gonna ask nigga Sean. He, Will so you cute. marry me? <laughs> no, well, I don't know. Well, they could have been. I don't know. Okay, so no to your question. he was on there. T.I. was on that song. I knew it was T.I. Okay. Oh, that was T.I. But I don't know if... It, it, it gave that line, huh? First, so I remember, this is back in the early YouTube days, when them niggas, it wasn't, Young Jock wasn't on that hoe. It was just like a YouTube famous song, and yeah. like Young Jock had brought it. So I feel like maybe he had like, Brought them like for looking ass nigga, right? Because sure. looking ass nigga, because it was yeah, he, just he, so that, that, that well. wasn't even the original. They had switched it up when when Young dropped. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he had he got a verse on there, but the original one is so fucking funny. Okay, so he yeah, was like it a, is. He um, on it. 
But, but no, yeah, jacket. no, y'all give young jock his flowers because when I tell you back in back in the day when we all had motherfucking well not us but you know the niggas had on tall tees and motherfucking white horses they was up at that mother talking about bum ba da 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 I was just like I'll make a juice box wait wait hey wait hey yeah stop playing with him but yeah so this this just goes to like look you models stunting is a habit make you like me oh he I don't like bitch she was she fucking tried it David Banner no yeah. She, she tried definitely it. tried it. Oh, don't uh, boy magic. I remember that song. Like don't you, you magic. like you Instagram Everybody girls. I do. And wait a minute. Have you ever seen a Chevy with the butterfly dog? Stun is a habit. Wait a minute. Uh, coffee shop was my fucking song. I like that song. Doom, doom. When they had the little the little, little person with the uh, yeah. big ass chain. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, no. At the coffee shop. Uh-uh. But no, I would That's say like young, young fuck, Jock. Bro. What? She's like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> no, but I would say like young Jock. <laughs> he was really a part of like that time where like he really he really put Atlanta on the map. Let's just be honest about it. Yeah. But like, y'all, but why I'm looking through the songs and one of them is "Buy You a Drink" and the they got the album on here and it was "Fuck Action 49." Y'all remember all them fucking fuck actions they used to make? They were like mixtape. It was like fuck action. Oh. Yes, but they used to That's have a original. They used to have a pleasure pee on. <laughs> they used to have a uh, pleasure pee in her bedroom, kissing you from head to toe, <laughs> baby. <laughs> pleasure <laughs> pee, non speaking ass, had me in that. Ooh, ooh. Your like, I'm like, 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 loving you with me. Ooh, I would have been in trouble if my mama ever pulled out one of the fucking AirPods. I mean, earbuds. No, she would have beat my fucking ass. I'm talking about feel the rush, baby. Y'all one touch, got you one touch. Got my dick standing up. <laughs> Period. Christina, you had them hoes. She is out of line. My MP3 player was popping, okay? Oh, y'all, I used to have a Zoom. It used to have some horrible music on there. Mm. See, my mama always I been a computer careful. savvy girl, so she would teach me how to do stuff. So, baby, I was on LimeWire downloading shit in it. I sure was on LimeWire. <laughs> Virus like a time. motherfucker. Okay. Viruses and everything. No, my parents used to go back and make sure them hoes say clean. So every time I had to go make sure them hoes say clean. Damn. No, y'all, y'all, I'm y'all sure used to download. Explicit. <laughs> you know, you remember used to download a song yes, and you'll play it out. And it'll be and Bill it Clinton. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Bill Clinton. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. <laughs> no. Let me tell y'all something. Soulja Boy was really ahead of his time, Oh, no. Soulja Boy used to be He was ahead of his fucking time. Because I remember trying to download Pretty Ricky and shit. And as you get out here, um, zoom, doom, 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 doom. I'm like, fucking Soldier Boy, yeah, huh? Bro. Not you. Soldier Boy, too. not again. Right, yeah, like, again. fuck. Not with you. Not Soldier Boy was. <laughs> not Soldier Boy was in there, whole, like, it's me, baby. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my Girl, favorite trends. Nobody send me. Okay, it's me. Like, it's me, baby. Because they are so creative. That bro. fucking jacket that's hanging out there. They want the nigga, they want the nigga. Yes. I watched, he had so many views, and I could tell because people, I know people was doing this again. Like, where was he? Exactly. He was. I watched it like 10 he times. Was, he was curled the fuck up on that, though. Nah, he had to be, he had to be <laughs> with both feet on the side of the door. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking No, wild. for real. That's it's me, wild. baby. It's, it's me, me, baby. It's me, it's nobody said me. <laughs> oh, that shit funny. Have you seen that, Miss No TikTok? Yes. Okay. Okay, girl. Oh, I wanna keep, just want to keep you in the loop, friend. Thank you. I've seen them. <laughs> You're welcome. It's me, baby. It's me. <laughs> oh, What's next on the docket? Okay, so nothing is new under the sun. Okay. Hey, we don't want the rest of me to your mom's bitch cobbler, bitch. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Nicki Minaj, this message is for you, bitch. Oh, I'm so tired of that messy ass. You're too fucking old to be acting uh, like that. Like, like, I don't even make this so face well. often, but... What she do there? Like, my thing is, I just want Nicki Minaj to really start acting like she know who the fuck Nicki Minaj is <laughs> and stop being, uh, like, why Why the fuck? Why the fuck still, are you up here subtweeting bitches? Pro Nicki. Because they got a fucking she curly was bust down? She was subtweeting Bitch, Megan Thee Stallion. Again? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Still team right, Nicki, no, Miss Megan Thee Stallion, because you know you're exactly. You're going to have to pipe it down. Because <laughs> me and Raimi, then, me and Raimi sat here, my sister, shout out to my sister, uh, Natural Hill Girl, get the oil. Um, Per. So, yeah, we had a whole... Uh-uh, hold on, tell... No, nah, fuck that. Run that shit the fuck back. She need to make sure she pay us for that fucking sponsorship. Oh, oh, that was a... That was, that was a shit ass for that. Okay. Right, I'm a right. Then. Right. No free promo. Locked Ooh. in. Ain't no switching up. Fuck. Girl. Not Tati beefing with the Damn, whole... Damn, you know, not the, the whole fucking family. Either. I know, right here. <laughs> Anywho, we were having a whole conversation about it, too, and I'm like, like Tati said, like, she, Nicki Minaj is up there. She never had to 
do what she's doing now. I feel like, she's like it's getting weird. Yeah, it's drug, and it's it's obviously on her. I so feel like nobody was ever gonna forget who Nicki was, so she could have just not. sat and not ever made music again and just mm-hmm. been Nicki Minaj. You was gonna get she your flowers. Was gonna be fine. They was gonna run her shit up. And yeah. it's like every time somebody knew, you gotta feel like. It says a lot about your your your, um, your security. Yeah. Like, well, you know, she want people. With, I still don't like the fact that what she did with the whole lotto thing, and I feel like yeah, they that was like that very much better them uh, as a grown as adult. The handle that I feel like lotto handled it very well because I feel like she did too. Cause you I'm not gonna let finna, nobody like, me, bitch. It goes back to her Nick, Nikki security, her. bitch. You could have sat and been like, look at everybody that came after me, and been okay with that. Because my thing is, <clears throat> lotto been in the game what five years max, like. As far as like being a big artist, I know she was on that TV. I, would, show I wouldn't even say five yeah. years. Okay, right. So less than five years. It's like Nikki girl, you've been running it for a long time. You don't have to do that. And the same with Megan Thee Stallion. Like Megan Thee Stallion is, you know, she's an established artist, but she haven't been in the game nearly as long as you. Nikki, for context, Nikki made a comment about Megan's hair because Megan had that big hair for the Oscar weekend, and mm-hmm. she was like, you know, I had to choke her. Whatever. Basically, she's saying I had the shit first, and it's just like, girl, you had big curly hair as a rapper. That's okay. Crazy. And like, I think like my whole issue is. Like Nikki doing all this is re really devaluing her her as an artist. It is cause because that's the only bad thing when, we have to say when about a her. when a bitch got a Nikki feature, that that shit was like having a Drake feature. Yeah. That shit was like having a Beyonce feature. Yeah. Like she was up there with the motherfucking uh, uh, top. What? What? <laughs> what? Christina is fucking Christina annoying. Is we, we went with we went a little that too alone, far. Christina. Okay. Yes, it was. No, you could have left that alone. Because it was. You know, you, having a Nikki feature was like having a uh, Beyonce Yeah, I'm here. Yes, yes because, at, yeah, at Nikki's here's prime. Thing, here's the thing that you have to also understand. Yes, and I don't Beyonce even like Nikki like a that. a selected amount of people. So mm-hmm. if she's going to work with somebody. Nikki was on everybody's shit. Shut the fuck up. That was like I, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is on the I, same caliber. Girl, he's up here on Beyonce. He's on everybody's shit. Can I finish my fucking thought, bitch? T-Pain is on everybody's shit. Can I finish my fucking thought, bitch? Girl, shut the fuck up. Girl, shut the fuck up. We get like four minutes But no, like I said, when people got a Nicki Minaj. This house unhinged tonight. It's like, it's different behavior. Turn her bike off, please. What the fuck? Turn her fucking bike off. Meanwhile, I'm like, somebody turn me up. Nah, bro, that Brack shit getting to us. She tripped out. Get the shit from. She's talking about my boy. Okay, at this point, where do you get the shit? From. Ooh, the no, call is in the house. Is so Breon. <laughs> I feel but bad yeah. for my guy. Yeah. Run Breon. Long, you good? Breon. Go. Blink, yeah, I blink once if you need help. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do feel like um, but as I try to complete my thought, thank you. Um <laughs> Nicki Minaj really, she really devalued herself as one of like, you know, the top artists by one, featuring on everybody's shit because she wanna stay relevant. And two beefing with beefing with the little guys like come on and this is why i feel like her whole grammy experience is how it is because it's really a humbling experience like bitch you doing all this shit we know you're the great but guess what we're gonna go we're gonna get these motherfucking grammys to all these new bitches in front okay, of you well, so you can on, humble on, your fucking on. self they, they, we at talk this about point the grammys and i feel like again I'm, but the grammys is political it's political so we it not, is get into because that. You already know when, for white people, when a black person gets out of line, they're going to make sure that they're blackballed. So I feel like even though Nikki is wrong for the things that she is saying and what she's doing to these little guys, to the, to the when I'm not even going to say little guys, to these women who are trying to get up there or get to that caliber, like, she has to also hold accountability herself. Like, ma'am, there's some things you need to chill on. But when it comes to the Grammys and stuff, at the end of the day, she should be standing up for herself. And I that's one thing I do love about Nikki, <clears throat> but... But when she stands up for herself, she doesn't have to tear anybody down with her. It's that yeah. part. That's the issue. Yeah, that part. That's how we said, like, with Angela Bassett for, Bassett, for example, with the Oscars. Like, you know, Ben Snub, there's plenty of artists and Angela could have like, went on her platform and said some wild ass shit. But she could have said, fuck that bitch. Said, or, yeah, or, like... I mean, you saw her face. Because Lotto but, didn't even win. But she well, she class. just didn't clap. Yeah. But anyways, Lotto didn't even win or whatever. I don't think she I don't think she won whatever they was arguing about neither. Yeah. But it was the... Lotto? It was the... Yeah, it was simply the announcement. Oh, she did? Okay, but they was arguing. Oh, she won a Grammy? Oh, a Grammy. No, remember the song that they were saying? The, okay, so remember the category was. Um, it was the Mariah Carey. Uh, so yeah. the, the category yeah, was under melodic rap. Okay, yeah. Oh, she didn't get nominated. She yeah. did. Melodic no, won. No, but Nikki didn't get nominated because her thing was. Okay, yeah, yeah her Mulatto, was under, 
Yeah. If if my song didn't get in, Lotto shouldn't be on it either. But again, you don't have to bring her down because you didn't get nominated. Again, exactly. you, That's not you talk Lotto's about being one of, the, one of the greats, and we have other great um, black people who exactly. get snubbed or don't get don't get to win or don't all these things, and nobody else does that. You the only one who feel like people. Because remember, her big thing was when I met Lauren Hill, I kissed her feet. That's what she wants. She wants all the rap girls to like, literally kiss her feet. And she I'm do. like, girl, she's a fucking weirdo for that. queen for that. Yeah, I'm she's a weirdo for that. Lauren Hill was very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> What? She, no, she yeah, literally just, kissed her feet? Mm-hmm. She's like on the floor like... That's weird. But I just... I really just feel like... And you know the you way... I've been like, girl, get up. And I these two A's bitches are not about to be like that. <laughs> like, a lot of these girls feel entitled. Now, I'm not, I'm going to admit that. A lot of what you mean entitled? entitled? A lot. What you mean entitled? For example, I hate to, you know, put up the fake stally, but uh, Erica... When she was saying that she feels like Nicki should want to do a song with her, no, bitch, you got to earn that. Who was Erica? Exactly. First off, first off, no, she, she's wild yeah, as fuck. Dallas. No, but I, I don't, like, my thing is, I don't feel like anybody is entitled to a feature from anybody. Like, that's, like, Me that's, that's you going gotta too far. You got to earn that shit or that's pay your money. That's going too far. But it's also, like, I feel like mutual respect should, mutual respect should be given. Like, sure. pe- people like, people like, Young women like Megan Thee Stallion, Lotto, they up in here, they they doing they doing their shit. Yeah, and they're they, paying for their features. Like, you know what I'm saying? They paying for their features and okay. they they building their craft and et cetera. So why is there like no respect? Like I just feel like yes, people should, you know, pay homage to, you know, who inspired them. But bitch, you're not the end all be all to the shit because it's gonna be somebody that's better that's gonna come out. Mm-hmm. Somebody's no. gonna come out every season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just don't feel like it's even it even matters. Like who's be- bitch? You to go? We know where you've been running the game for a long time by yourself. Yeah. Bitches can say they was in jail or doing mm-hmm. this or doing whatever, but you did what you had to do. You know what I mean? But another thing, though, when when she was dominating the rap game for women, she actually had verses that really like was like okay, yeah, she's we're, she's that girl. Yeah, so okay. you don't. But have like, to but go. it's like now she, she's she's fucking around. She's slug. fucking around. A lot of just stuff like, is bluff. Bitch, not, get back to spitting. Thank the you. The last hardest thing that I heard was what was the one where she was dissing? Well, she wasn't dissing, but she was talking about yeah, men all rappers. Those, all these that was the, niggas, the last like hardest that. thing yeah. I ever heard. But from I don't Nikki. Queen. That was Queen, but did Queen yeah. do like really, really well? No, I don't think he did. But she was spitting on that house too. So I'm no, because that was the only song that for me she was spitting fucking bars. And like, I mean, the sleeve, the what is it? Red Ruby the sleeves. Red, red Ruby the sleeves. It's cool. Like it's growing on hey, me, but, but it, it's it's got a new not. Song? Yeah. Yeah, it's the new song. It's cool. Like, it's it's growing on me. Like, I heard it in the car. So I was like, okay, yeah, she said a few shit. Yeah. I mean, I have to block out the Megan diss. And I think that's the thing. And like, I'm trying to, it's you time know. And time, time and time again, we, we see that, like, that's not the type of energy that, that the the people, the consumers now want to hear. I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck about you dissing. Like, that Barb shit is cute for the little girls, but it's just like, girl, but, I wait, like wait, all wait, the girls on, who on. got good music. Hold on. Wait. I wouldn't say all that now because, again... I am also tired of hearing the same shit when it comes to female rappers. So this is me. Like, yes, I do want to throw my ass. Yes, I want to do all this. But are you really spitting, though? That's why I hold Megan to a certain extent because... That hoe be spitting. Like, she be having bars. Yeah, But she she had bars on freestyles, but her music is not... Megan Thee Stallion. And I'm a Megan Thee Stallion fan. Mm-hmm. And what, Megan Thee Stallion <laughs> eats her fucking freestyles. But let's talk about good news. Let's talk about it. Because we're gonna, gonna hold Nikki. We're gonna hold Nikki accountable. Let's hold Megan accountable. I feel I'm like, like I feel like her last album she was really rapping real hard, and that's why. I, oh, oh yes, yeah, that's why I said. And I'm like, and I wasn't was, a big was fan. Straight. I was. I'm glad you didn't say that. But this, but, but this, she, this she had. But that's my thing. That's what good I'm news. Not, uh, and then Traumazine. You already Traumazine was better. Traumazine. She was spitting so hard. Bro, what? She was she was spitting hard. But my thing is. That's another thing. Tom Megan, Megan be trying, Megan be trying well. to appease everybody. Stop putting that fucking pop shit on your rap album. Bro, if you was going to okay, have a motherfucking let's song not, called Plan like B, you should here. not have put niggas in it. Let's Why the fuck not are you talking sit about here and Plan act B? like a true niggas. artist doesn't be, is not versatile. That's what I'm saying. Why do you think Beyonce is no, where she at because she's no, versatile? No, stop I'm bringing, misusing her no, as no, no, an example. No, 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 no. We let, know uh, no, Beyonce no, no, let's, that let's use, No, let's, let's use Beyonce clear. then. Michael let's, Jackson, let's versatile. Use. Those people are versatile. No, 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 no. I'm not so, coming no, 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 no,
You have to have a storyline. You're not gonna just throw no shit on your album just for the sake of I, versatility. I agree. That sucks. I feel you like the album has, has to have a vibe. Line. The album has it to has have to a certain vibe. It has to have a because to songs it. that was on Lemonade could not go on anything um, else. Well, yeah, the, uh, of this last because one. Because of the type of like yeah. the vibe that it was. Yeah, so for. it's like she don't but give it me was poppy. Also a different Beyonce though. Am I right? Or well, yeah, but I'm saying she not giving me like poppy songs on this. Uh, what is this? What is this last album considered? Dance. dance hall. Oh, she not giving me my, uh, a pop song who, on this who, Beyonce, right, like uh-huh. for example, on this dance hall one. So I, I can get what you're saying. If you gonna be hard rapping, the bitch hard raps. I'm trying to give me pop, shake that ass type of music. hard rap. If you want to give that, That's what I'm saying, look, it, it has to have continuity. You want to know why people fucking hated that? Honestly, never mind shit. Because how Drake gonna start off with continuity and then put Jimmy Cooks at the end of the fucking album? It does not flow. It just I does not they, flow. I think I think they it hated. It. I think they hated it because it was trash. No, 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 no. And, and that last it was song trash. Was the only good song on that movie. It was trash. Honestly, I it was trash, really like but Jimmy Cooks I, I like it. it. I, thought, I like I mean, it. I'm a I fucking like, nah. It's but a I different. like, I like uh, Savage. So, I was 21. Yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah. That would make me yeah. want to listen. Yeah, that's, I think, yeah. But I'm going to say this, like, like if, listen, artists need to get back to curating an album. It's not, oh, let me put this on the album because I know I'm going to get streams. Okay, I need let you put this to on find the album. that, please. So when you curate an album, you have a whole sound. Your album is supposed to be an era. Look at Doja Cat. When she had her Say So album, that was her era for that time. Then she went to her, her second album. It's a different era because you're not supposed to have these fast singles. You're supposed to you're supposed to have an album that you can pull from like over and over again. And th- then you do your rollout and then you do your tour. But do you that's also remember these, the type of time frame not, that we're in? We're in a microwave era as well. Artists are so still doing it to be successful. Artists stuff, are still so doing it to be, to be that, successful. But also all artists do that because for me Doja Cat did the same shit like I listen to it and I'm just still like no Doja Cat has songs that she eventually like she rolled out and she kept it out and then she got a Grammy for it Beyonce has songs that Renaissance came out almost a year ago okay well, not oh almost God. a year ago but I like half a year ago and then but she did a rollout and she now she has Grammys these artists are not getting Grammys because they have microwave music and that's what I'm saying like Megan Please, what song other than Plan B that's out right now for Megan from Trauma Z? Well, you know, I think maybe she was just like relaxing right now because of her whole trial situation. You know what I mean? Like she's she just coming back. So just give her a second. That's mm. that's what I'm saying. Mm. You, you got to think of the time frame. To what My thing is, to, what, so you, what do they tell you about a business? You should be able to walk away from your business and still make money and still be relevant. No. Not the era yeah. that we in. Not no. I think so, but that's I think excuses. That's what I'm not. Doing. I, I, I think that's not fair though. I think Come she on, is. Bro. I think she that's is though. Fair. I feel like she's she's doing some other shit. She got some other avenues she like popping. She just told us that she about to drop an album. Yeah. How you know the girl? See, girls is in the stool. My thing is okay, but before the trial happened, I'm not. And I'm not, I'm not saying that she shouldn't take. She shouldn't take a. Um, that's what it sound like. No, I'm not saying that she should like you know not take her time away but if you want to build yourself as a brand build yourself as a, a business i know she got plenty of shit in the vault of course okay but that's not what i'm saying like like i'm saying like but you, you want to be able to be coming out with his like no i feel like if anything she should have a better media team to push trauma scene. okay well since you're talking about media who was she just under who was she just fighting her case on how you know them niggas wasn't running the show because at the end of the day they're the ones signing they the lost. remember and remember they so tried again, to, remember that was they tried them to play. The they tried to play. It was like, oh, that one of the uh, I, th- I think good news didn't count or something like that. And okay, no, exactly. yeah. So my thing, she has been but, fighting. But no, but here's the thing demons. though. I understand with the good news shit, and I didn't expect her to like be like, okay, here's a new EP because that would be under 1501. But she already has shit out. Mm-hmm. But she she already has shit out, and it's all it's all like it's shit that's not even popping right now. So that's true. Um, you should push out at least three songs from off, your album. off your album. SZA put out Kill Bill. How, because my thing is, how was how it also it was she got a few songs out from the album now. Mm-hmm. Steve yeah, Lacey sure. Put out. Yeah, you know what I mean. He, yeah. Yeah. I know. Because end of the I day, if I want, because my thing is, I want Megan to stop fucking performing at Rolling Loud. I want her to headline a tour, a big tour, a stadium tour, and you cannot do that if you do not have su- like the the substantial data behind she your album. She haven't done a big uh, stadium tour yet, huh? No, Mm-mm. she been doing festivals and Rolling Loud, and I and I'm really tired of her working her ass to the bone for that shit. With, again, let this bitch be a headliner. She's a grand yeah, award again, winning you know, artist. Her team, is, yeah. her team, she's trying to get over there. Like you got to give the girl okay. She would, she would rock on nation some, now. On some like, things, you got to give her some grace. That was a lot of shit to come from, from what she's been through, and she's still making music. It's not like she said, "Fuck 
this shit. I ain't doing this shit no more. Bye. It's not like she did that. The girl is out here working. Obviously, like, sis then got skinny, then got in the gym. Like, come on, bro. Give her some, you got to give her some grace on that point. Listen, if you I want, feel like this is, want, this is niggas sometimes this gotta is, go this, under the rock and get their shit together. This is not this I'm is not, not anything against Megan. I, know, I just want I'm better just for saying, her. Because I want the best for Megan as well. And as any woman. And again, I just feel like, cause this just rolls onto me, like we expect a lot of this shit happening from our black artists, and I get it that we want them to do this and that. But them niggas got lives too at the end of the day. You gotta give them some time. Beyonce went under her rock and did the things that she had to do. You gotta give these artists some great fucking people too. Like, come on, bro. Like, some stuff. That, that, that's just how I feel when it comes to that. No, I, feel like I, I, I agree with that, but it was so funny. We'd be like, these people got lives too. And it's like, bitch, we all got lives and we no, still got to do our like, jobs every day. And this is a I still got to go to that motherfucker like, every day. Yeah. Thing is, I'm like, but she already is not on the that work, same though. caliber. Because, like Tati said, the girl's trying to get a Grammy. So, of course, she already got one. Well, whatever. No, but no, I'm, no, I'm saying, though, all I'm saying is she needs to work smarter and not harder if that's the case. Wait, Megan has a Grammy? Yeah, but Steve and I don't have a No, and that's, oh, that's why she's bad. <laughs> that's, Ooh, that's why she's bad. That's, that's the number one reason why she's bad. Because got it with Beyonce. Because what Megan said, oh, I'm the shit Beyonce. per the recording academy. Got it with Beyonce. <laughs> So, hey, <laughs> but yeah, be. no, but this no, no, like really oh, love yeah. to Megan, but I want her to work smarter and not harder because I really feel like she can she can get more Grammys just off of her pen alone. Well, but she just gotta work smarter. Not with them niggas no more. Yeah, I feel like a lot of that is it's her team, bad. like you said, being pushing stuff out. They really didn't fuck with her. They really don't like her. So that's like a hard, you know, place yeah. to be. Yeah, yeah it's a lot of sabotaging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So speaking of stars. Um, there's this is it a new show? Is it a limited series? It's still? a show, seven episodes. Oh okay. a show? Mm -hmm. Is it all the way out? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They wrote all the episodes out at one time? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You can watch it in, in, in an afternoon, honestly. Oh, oh that's 30 minutes? I mean uh, I think they're, they're long, but it's only seven episodes. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, my friend said she started at two o'clock and then by the end of the night she was done. Yeah. Okay, so but and, and that show is called Swarm. Yeah, so without getting too much into it, because everybody hasn't seen it, we were basically just discussing, like, the parallels it has to the Beehive. Mm. And <laughs> Christina. <laughs> Christina was more so on the fence about the portrayal of it, mm -hmm. you know, with Chloe, uh, one of Beyonce's artists, being in it. And, I, you know, I was saying, you know, it was produced by Donald Glover, Charles mm -hmm. Gambino. And if y'all know his writing style, he's kind of off in the fucking head a little bit. Yeah. But he said he would have never put no shit out like that, referencing Beyonce mm. without oh, her approval. So Beyonce fully knew it. On? Beyonce is the real Jay Prince. That's the motherfucker you really gotta, I gotta check, check in, in with. with. Be Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce is the real motherfucking Jay okay. Prince. Yeah. But you gotta check in with her. Well, one thing mm. I did see that I was like, oh, he had to have said something because <laughs> I started the show and literally like the first thing that came up was like, this is not a fictional fictional story. These this shit really happened or something. And I was just like, Damn. All the parallels that you got to Beyonce and the beehive and all that kind of stuff. And you're talking about this girl, shit really happened. No, I didn't. I literally only saw that part in the TV Star Freeze, and I was like, Well, I saw that part in the preview, The Girl on the Horse. Hmm. But let's get into it. Dempson was in that shit. Yeah, oh, he, was, oh, he is so he fine. Was, why not me? I don't or know, something that's not fine. Lord, but you know Lord, what? Chair. Can we talk about this before? Chair. You watch Snowfall? Mm -hmm. I do. Y'all watch Snowfall? I do. Okay, do you think he fine, too? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think he fine? Mm -hmm. I think that I what him. they're looking at is his is the, his, his, his persona, his, his no, style. Uh, when he first started uh, acting. Before you saw anything, you saw him, you was like, Before yeah. Snowfall, <laughs> he's been it. fun. I don't know. I feel like... I, I just think like he's, he's a very he's handsome very man. very boyish to me. I feel me. like that he look, And that's my thing. He looks like a little boy to me. Yeah, he's very oh, boyish really? to mm -hmm. me. He gives okay. me yeah. very, like... It, to me, like, when I see damn saying, I just see Black Boy Joy. Like, which I love that, man. but I don't find I love, him like yeah, super attractive. Love that like, for him, but I think he's like boy next to I see him coming into more of his like manhood, manliness, yes. which yes, is attractive Lord. because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he's just attractive. No, because that's a, that's a I, black I'm, I'm right like there. this that's when I seen right him there. standing against. Standing next to Method Man. Man, girl, it was Method Man for me. Method Man is just like fucking granddaddies. Oh, no, that's crazy. Don't, but that's crazy. Method Man fine, but I'll take it home to my mama today. How many times I gotta teach you this lesson? I'm sick, bitch. You're sick. Oh, my God. Because it's the SpongeBob reference for me. Oh, my God. Oh, crap. I hate no, Somebody get the uh, I don't even have the words bro, to, like, uh -uh. I don't have the words. Christina. Oh, 
fucking wild. Step out of the fucking yeah, room. You are yeah. done. Oh, oh my god, why no, they hate on me so hard Christina, today? What's going Christina on? Out. I can't say Girl, nothing. Her, I just cannot. People need to be called. Like Christina, bro. Like you are. You're sick right now. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put this clip on the internet. It has <laughs> to go on there, got Christina. This. What? Ooh. This bitch is so unhinged. But anywho, Ooh, as uh-uh. I was saying, or I, as, a person, as you were not, bitch. As a, no, as a person who watches a lot of TV, I feel like a lot of men who I see who I'm like are so attractive. I like them more. Once I like see them, like Lakeith Stanfield, I when I first saw him, I was like, oh, whatever. But it was really watching him act. I was like, oh, I like this nigga. I like, see. I never found him attractive, yeah. little rat ass looking, yeah, rat looking. I don't like him. It was the act. I don't like it. I like his acting style. Deadbeat yeah. ass. And, and Yaya, <laughs> do y'all know who Yaya? I don't know his last name, but uh, oh no, he's fine as fuck. He's fine, and and I like him more. So he played in Candyman. So the dude who played Candyman. Uh-huh. He's okay. And Ooh. I liked him more as I started watching. But like uh, Kofi, uh, Kofi's mm. just fine as okay. Uh-huh. I think Kofi's fine as fuck, but I like him less because he's acting. It's not a good. Well, no, he's he's, no, he's, he's a pretty me. face. He's, he's fine. Face. He don't gotta I like talk. His, I watched um I, I watched like, the first season of that show where he was what was he a sharecropper? Green uh, green Queen uh, Sugar. Not Sh- Queen Sugar. And that yeah. accent, I was like, ah. girl, I love his accent. Oh, I, it. I, oh, I loved it. Oh, I thought it was so. I don't. Funny. I don't. Oh, because like, oh. in my mind, a New Orleans nigga do not sound like that. Even on exactly, I agree. Even sound on, like that. on what's the stripper show? P Valley. P Valley. On P Valley, this season, I was like, I I cannot keep on watching y'all if y'all gonna be talking like this. I no, let that. me yeah, tell y'all. Yeah, what was we watching? They it. Yeah. I love that. Accent. Fucking young Miami. I was fucking. I was okay, y'all. I was my. I was responding to cause. I was responding to customers yesterday, and Dre was watching it. And some, I just, I looked up at the end of her little monologue, and I looked, and, she, and I was like, "What the? What is this? I'm hearing like just bad acting." Then I look, and this how I was supposed to be crying, and she went like this, and I just, I was it's, real it's, tears, it's y'all. I all up again. Real fucking I tears. I was like, "Who was that?" And you better go find a nigga who got time. Beat that nigga ass bitch. I could have been on that shit. She could not have been serious. I would have been like, can we try that again? Me because too. was the best take. Me too. You know, and I did, did y'all see, did y'all see Jalen Wee? Yes. <laughs> I reposted it. I reposted Jalen. Jalen like, did a better job. Yes. Where's my husband? <laughs> I just, I could not take her serious. I was literally was laughing so about- hard. Y'all follow, just, follow my friend. I just, I, yeah, I just feel like Jalen, Jalen, she, got, she got a lot of disadvantages. Like, like her, yeah, like her, her country ass accent, the lack, the lack, the lack of coach, like the the lack of coaching. It's just like I feel like BMF was like, you know who hot right now? Yeah, Carisha. But that's the thing, though. Like y'all could have picked any other. I don't know. I- I to think me, maybe they, show, that maybe they, really good. but maybe they did like, cause they, I mean, Lala been acting a little bit, so I guess Lala, but I'm like, they threw cash all in there. She's happy to do a good job. But no, yeah. Right. I just so feel I like did. they be trying and, I was and they sad. be like, when maybe, they, maybe I it'll was work. sad when my girl didn't, it's not going to make I just, it to the next scene. I just, I, was, I just feel like BMF is giving us very much Tubi. You think so? I feel like that's a little better than Tubi. A little bit. Okay. I mean, okay. okay. Now, Young Miami's monologue was <laughs> very much to be. No, I'm not gonna lie though. This season, because I watched the first season, and I was all in. But this season, I it's something about it. I'm just like, I just can't really get into it. And I'm, it may be giving me like to be nothing good acting. And really, Terry, I be giving me oh! a fucking blue. You know, he can do that on his. He does that on his own. Make right? his I do that. No, he don't. Yes. Oh my god. I like him too, though. I like. I like that Terry, but not in this. Not in this. I, I like love Terry. That, man. But his he's brownish. A- He's cash, a, he's baby, cash. That's my man. I, said, man. I, I, I wanted to pick cash so bad. Ooh, I was like, I, I wanted not to do pricing, too. but you know, then we talk about this. Then we talk about this previous what? on our previous seasons about her. It was cash. The other two and the other two niggas. Yeah, I wanted to pick cash too, but I already knew. I, I really wanted Luca. No, I didn't want Luca. Oh yeah. Anyways, y'all gotta stop picking some better people, baby, because this is not the one. Yeah. Who, who made this? Fifty Cent too? No, this is somebody else. I think right. No, 50 Cent is a part of uh, BMF. That's crazy. Whoever, pick some more people. Better ones. Get somebody else to do it. Mm-mm. Well, power's on, guys, so... I stop watching. You know power. what? I'm really a part of that one percent that don't watch Power, right. Snowfall, well, BMF. I just watch right. that shit via uh, social media. Do you, cool. Is it? Do you think right. it's the like the drug? Um, the, the drug no. genre. I honestly feel like for me. Um, I don't 
I just don't get into shows like that. I like more shows like Scandal, How to Get Away mm-hmm. with Murder, Game of Thrones, The Last of Us. I, I like shit like that. Game of Thrones and The Last of Us was not in the same category. It was, no, it wasn't. But I, I one of these things. I not guess like no, but you know, what? I guess, I guess, like the main thing of it is, I just don't want to see black people sell drugs. Yeah, I guess so for me, it's, a, it's another, it's like another world that I haven't, I haven't been tapped into. It is to me, it's more realistic and and that part to me, and I support. That's why I can't anything watch it. black mm. though. So here's my thing, because it's a lot of black TV shows, a bunch, a bunch mm-hmm. of them, right? For sure. And I, I feel like for me, person. Me personally. <laughs> <laughs> Not your kids, Kristen. Right? Just love kids. Let me tell you something. I grew up, like I had, I tell you this all the time, I had a lot of like drug dealer boyfriends mm-hmm. and like, you know, I would see niggas selling drugs and crack and all kind of shit. Like, you know, in high school, mm-hmm. that was like really my reality. So when I be seeing that shit, I be like, really, this is kind of sad. And like, for me, it feels like very glamorized, but I'm mm-hmm. like, you know, I had a boyfriend in high school, you know, who sold drugs and he died. Mm-hmm. And to me, I'm like, you know, on TV, it's kind of like, damn, my favorite character gone. But I'm like, damn, this reminds Somebody me of really gone. Like, these people really be dying. These people really be having kids. A lot of, like, bad stuff. And so to me, it's really, and I'm a part, like, I had, we, we lived in that, um, you know, neighborhood apartment or whatever. I graduated. I went to college. When I came home, I went somewhere else. You know what yeah. I mean? And I was just like, I can't live that life. And so watching on TV, it's kind of traumatizing to me, like, kind of triggering. I just be like, yeah. I can't live that life. I get that. Yeah. I guess also for me, though, it's. I, I agree with you with the glamorizing, but I take it as, like, as black people, that's another story of our yeah. lives. And that's, like, one of it's one of those dark eras because a lot of this stuff goes back to during the 80s and the 90s and the 70s when a lot of those people, that was the only option. Mm-hmm. And for me, it should yeah. use this time as to also to motivate you to, there is other options. But one thing I do like about Snowfall that I'm stuck in is how the government is so involved in... And that's why I feel like a lot of these shows do have some truth mm-hmm. because the government was heavily involved with getting drugs into the black oh, community. Oh, for sure. And this season, particularly with Leon, he shows you the era of the woke, like how we're starting to, on some Black Panther type shit. Mm-hmm. Like he's showing you how going back to the roots, going how it started with slavery, how we were selling each other, like it tapped into a lot of, like kind of like some historical moments for us. So for me, it's like, yes, it is glamorized on TV, but it's like how hungry us as black people, we was really trying to make it out. So, and how we were, and sometimes it felt like this was the only option for us, even though it wasn't, because there was a season, an episode with Franklin, where it showed his other option. Mm-hmm. If he would have went this way, yeah. when things could have happened, stuff would have been way different from him. He wouldn't have been involved in all this. So yeah, it does glamorize, but at the end of the day, this is our truth. And this is one of the truths that a lot of us can connect with because we did live it or we saw it and we saw so it. I do agree. I feel like if I was to tell y'all some stories or some stuff, like it's interesting, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so I agree that it's true, but I yeah, like I said, I feel like I'd be like, ooh, but I do see where people kinda how you started off with saying like that's another story that I haven't been a, another life I haven't tapped into. So like, you know, you're like, well damn, what's going on over there? So yeah. I get it. I mean I but baby, I yeah, it, but like I've that, been that yeah. I've never been that deep. But I've been around it. I've seen I've seen the people who get affected. Mm-hmm. I never seen the deals and stuff because me, I was like, I could never do that shit. But I've always been exposed to the the mental illnesses that came from the drugs, mm-hmm. the the OD and the drinking, the weed, the drugs, the coke, whatever. I've been exposed to the people. Not See, necessarily I like the, I like for my yeah, TV to see, traumatize yeah, I, I me a little bit to the I'm operations sorry. of it, and I'm like, I just, now, that's too, not something so that I want to relive. Yes, I like see. My, yeah, similar type yeah. of environment. Yes, I like for my TV to traumatize me, but like in a Grey's Anatomy kind of way, right? Like not really emotional, not a systematic kind of way, but like just like get get like you know like traumatize me emotionally, but systematically, bitch. Yeah, I'm already mad at white people right now for 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 shit that this my ancestors. What the fuck? But I live, and it's funny because I I think about that when I watch TV like if like I have friends who've been you know sexually assaulted and I love uh, SVU but I be like okay bitch I'm not gonna do that cause I don't wanna so I be thinking about that like bitch this may be a little bit much for you yeah mm-hmm. like, yeah Okay. I, I'm here for the drama though. It's I mean, drama. Though, but it's, it, it does have a, it's Wait, a great drama. Did y'all see that baby par- birthday party they did? The BMF birthday party? Good at baby. I asked for that shit. What BMF? The baby, it is so did a baby BMF party. Listen, let me see how black parents... It was parents, actually really done no, really well, It was though. done very well. From a party well. planner perspective, it was done really well. It was done very well. I However, see. I would say, That's parents, true. stop pushing the motherfucking party that you want mm-hmm. on your children. No, that motherfucker wants... That baby wants some damn Paw Patrol. Okay, but that was... Shit. That was giving me a one-year-old birthday party, and as a person with a one-year-old, that baby don't know uh, what As you a want. one-year-old, you can choose whatever. You really have the free rights to choose whatever you so, want. So Still make it kid-friendly. 
<laughs> like, not no fucking BMF that's really ghetto so, as fuck, but... So, 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 me and Brie, I was talking about it, and he was like, yeah, the baby, you know, do something that the baby want. And I was like, he was like, baby, I don't watch BMF. And I was like, and, Bra and Braxton never went to Coachella, but we did a Braxella party. And he was just like, that's kitty, though. And I was just like, yeah, is it? it's, it's more... Get Coachella? Is but it? I would say, though, you twisted it to where it was kid-friendly. It was kid-friendly. I mean, there's nothing kid-friendly There's nothing kid-friendly about, 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 about it. About it. I'm about to find it. Okay. No, that, nothing was kid... That was, that was giving them, like, the mama saying, let me flex my muscle to make this party look real cute. It's funny because originally the his first birthday party theme that I wanted was B-Rax, and it was going to be like a money theme because his name is Brax, you know? Yeah. It's going to be like green money, all that stuff. And when I seen that BMF thing, I was like... Because <laughs> <laughs> I almost did that. Okay. But see, the, I feel like if you would have if you would have did like Brax Bucks and people like the kids can go buy stuff from the store, I, had made I, feel like, I feel like that would have been cute. Girl, but blowing like money fast, fast, Black That's Mafia true. family... No, it's really that... It's really that this is... That the movie or the show is based off of a true story of people who were drug dealers. They're selling drugs. Like, like that's crazy. That's Being that's fucking crazy. for real. It was your honestly. Part. And your kid just so happened to be turning one. That's yes. crazy. Okay, so y'all, let's hop into a little bit of girl it? chat. Um, while Christina is finding that video. Um, so on today's girl talk, we're gonna talk about a couple of things. The first thing being, y'all need to stop watching Black Women's Pockets. Okay, so there was a young woman. She uh, was a corporate lawyer, and somebody from a whole other firm had saw her TikToks and you know snitching. saw her blog. The niggas and went back to her firm snitching. and was like, "How was she able to afford this lifestyle, bro?" I really, so basically, wait, her I job, yeah, her job tells her, "Hey, people. you can't, you can't, you know, continue to be like a social media influencer because that's called moonlighting, and so you can't have a job that's legal or not legal." Um, outside of you being an attorney. I just think it's so weird for you to tell me that I'm not allowed to have an additional job. No, I think that's it's fucking crazy. weird that a whole nother law firm I mean, took yeah, their time to snitch on oh, a person like, that's at some another motherfucking shit right law there. firm. It's a, ain't that like considered competition? So you snitched on a person that's not even at your fucking business. I feel like that's job. common in so law. Is Law is grimy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but just to say that this is a clause that I can't do anything out outside of this work, like my work life that's balance crazy. is like work work balance. That's not. And cool. I can understand if she was given like <clears throat> legal advice or something, yeah, then maybe right. I can see them being. Or like, if I see a lot of lawyers on TikTok talking about like different cases. They don't, you know, they still are in the realm of like confidentiality. Mm -hmm. But it could still like if I heard. You talk about my case, and I know you my lawyer. And I'm like, bitch, you on TikTok? Yeah. But, you know, yeah, I, she's but not I doing that, you know? One. Yeah, she, so like, she, was she a beauty is signing her own contracts for paid partnerships. So I think, like, that's kind of, like, where it can... I, no, I can't honestly can't see no, you can, it. No, you can do that. You can do it if you want to. She had, I mean, because at the end of the day, she don't work for a law it's firm not anymore, a but, she's, of but she's still a lawyer. So even, like, you yeah. know what I mean? She's still able to do it. So for me, I feel like the main issue is that she's doing something that's totally unrelated. She's making money something totally unrelated to law, and they're pissed. Like Tiffany said, if I was a you know a person, I seen you talking about my stuff, that's weird. Or if I was yeah. a if I was a boss, I'd be like, this kind of can get a little sticky because you now giving like advice to certain situations exactly. you don't know the whole thing mm -hmm. about. You know what I mean? Like I can see how that may not that re may reflect badly or poorly on us. But how is you gonna make up deal have have to do anything with, with corporate law? Out of your day. That's like. To to snitch on a person that's still not at it, your it, law it, firm. That's the part that I that's why that's why makes that total part, sense to no, me. That, that part does not sense. make no total sense no. to me at all. Well, why, so, so say for instance, so say for instance, we're a competing law firm, and you're getting a whole bunch of like the clients that I could be getting, or like we compete for certain clients, or we competing for like being number one law firm, number one black law firm, and right. that because they do a lot of those rankings, you know, mm -hmm. with those things. So I'm like, if I know that you're one of the lawyers over there, I want to, you know, kind of shake your shit up over there. Hopefully, they fire you, or you have to, or you quit, mm -hmm. and then that brings y'all down, to, you know, on a notch mm -hmm. because maybe the moonlighting is a normal like clause in, mm -hmm. in law firm but so you know, I get like, that part what, what, it's, it's nasty no, but I get no, it's yeah. very nasty but I guess like I, what really turned me off was the comment of how can she afford the lifestyle that she's showing on TikTok? Bitch, you don't know what deals. Oh, you don't yeah. know what deals this lady is closing. I also, Why the fuck are you in her pockets like I that? I also feel like the nobody... The that I have with, also with this with the law firm is that y'all didn't even take the time out to just sit down and have a conversation with her. Y'all was ready just to throw her but out. Here, but here's no, the they thing. didn't throw her out. They didn't throw her out. She, she left. Quit. But well, I know she quit. But I'm saying y'all didn't take... I don't, I don't know. I just feel like when it comes to jobs, and I know I'm crazy on this, but, but it's like, damn... Like we're people, like support your. Here's people. here's the, here's the main thing. That, that don't but here's the main thing though. She did say 
that she even has a line about it on her resume. So if you felt like that was a conflict issue, of interest never... when you hired her, you should have told her that. So here's my rebuttal to that. They hired her, but they put in her contract that she was not allowed to moonlight. And as, as a lawyer, or they put in her uh, yeah, acceptance she should've, letter. She as a lawyer, she, she knew that. It, she yeah. read that shit. Yeah. She I and mean, she said that she talks about you know beauty and whatever openly with them, but I'm pretty sure she never talks about how much money she was making or the fact that she was even like making a lot of money. So you knew that that shit was in there. You wasn't telling them like, girl, I'm not not saying I'm not saying that she shouldn't be able to do it, but I'm like, what are you shocked about? You signed that contract saying you wouldn't moonlight. You a lawyer? Yeah. Mm, okay. But yeah, stop trying to fucking. But that shit like watch black and that's very weird. Very Another very thing weird. is like for for them to say like, oh, how are you affording this lifestyle? You, I can have a rich fucking daddy. Daddy more bugs my fucking daddy. Like, what, what do you... Okay, I, I mean, I can have a rich daddy, a rich mama, a rich boyfriend. Yeah. A, 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 a motherfucking... I can have all money. That was, that, was, that was passed down. Yeah. I could, like, you don't fucking... Or I could, I could, be, the lottery, or I could be a TikTok liar. Everything on my... I could have DHG, everything on my fucking stuff. On, on like, the you know what I mean? I could rent cars yeah. to make videos. I could have yeah. friends who do different shit. Like, that part is very ugly to me. How you doing this shit on, that, you know, affording this lifestyle. Yeah. Mind your fucking business. Right. For real. Mind the business that pays you. Right. I guess not enough. Okay, but speaking of not enough. Hmm. Hmm. What a great segue. <laughs> great segue. Can you date a man that makes less than you? <laughs> How much less? <laughs> okay, so say for instance you are a young black woman that's a professional making about sixty five thousand a year and your man worked at Chipotle. <gasps> Wait, Chipotle is like minimum wage? I think they're above minimum wage. I'm thinking like at least twelve dollars. So I'm making sixty five. Huh? He's probably making like let's let's, let's 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 give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's a manager. He's making like forty. Okay. Okay. Forty. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, okay. Manager. Okay. All right. Okay. So that works. Yeah. But what if he was a line cook, making uh, twenty five? So okay. it's okay. So here's my thing. <laughs> here's my thing because in today's time, sixty five k. That's really it's twelve dollars. Mm-hmm. Right. That's really <laughs> like that's a. I'm not saying Damn. it's not. I don't want to say it's not that much, but I just feel like making sixty five thousand dollars. I still need. I probably need help. Mm-hmm. You know, especially I'm thinking with me in my family household. Mm-hmm. It's me and my man, my baby. I still probably need help. I still probably can't do everything by myself. You know, whatever. I just don't. I don't know if if that twelve dollars an hour or that ten, well, however much you know, small amount is enough to help me sustain. So it's not as as much about the fact that he don't make as much as me, but it's about the fact that we can't What can you what are you contributing? What are you contributing? You know what I mean? Because now I feel like I'm I'm single in this relationship and holding mm-hmm. on. And, I'm, and I have the single mom who and, works too and have just... water for her. Water you know, water <laughs> like, like, never stop. like it costs to live. Life you know, it costs better. to live comfortably. So, yeah. you know, lights is more with more people, water yeah. bill is more with more people, food is more with more people and groceries are very expensive. It's very expensive. And you know, very likely my man has a car so maybe he has a car no maybe he has insurance all those things if he's only making 10 12 dollars an hour then that very likely means that he's only able to sustain the bills for himself right Mm -hmm. so his car no his insurance you know my man smoke Mm -hmm. so that's we like i just feel like just like that all his money is gone and now i'm spending everything for the baby i'm spending everything on the Mm -hmm. ring i can't live a a life like that right so no i don't think i can do that um i'm kind of just in the point right now i really seriously when it comes to like you know my religion and stuff what my religion my spirituality when it comes to being equally yoked and i feel like equally yoked goes into like different realms and i'm kind of where i'm at i put i'm as for me i'm doing stuff i'm working on my degrees i'm also going to get another degree i'm trying to change you know my lifestyle my career so i would need someone that's gonna meet me Mm -hmm. where i where i Mm -hmm. am or higher. Yeah. If he was doing stuff like Rachel, then I'll be cool with it. Like right now, he works yeah. at Chipotle like, because he can't find. But he's in, he's in school. I mean, a lot of stuff has you know. Yeah, yeah people, you, you have know, to have the situation, ambition. Yeah, situations yeah. have. If there's no ambition, course. you know, because your your situation is not your final. Uh huh. Um, you know, destination or whatever, but it's the ambition behind it. If when we talk, it, it ain't no, um, you know, we can't really just bounce ideas off each other. And right. like for me, I'm an entrepreneur, so me, if me and my nigga can talk about the next business move. Why mm, it wouldn't be for me? Be oh, definitely. Cause, just cause I I see what I'm doing go so, going so much further, nigga. Why are we even thinking about working a nine to five? You need to come come over here, come to the winning team. So what can we do to multiply and make this better? Like yeah, that's what I'm saying. We got to be on the same level, equally yoked. Where our mindset is the same. We're going through the same vision. See, oh, you doing this? What we doing? So see, and for or, me, or above. See, for me, I feel like I'm fine with you having like a totally different. Like if I'm like I want to do some entrepreneurial shit, and you're like, bro, I really like my job. I'm I'm cool with the nine to five. I'm like, mm-hmm. that's totally fine. Yeah. That doesn't bother me. 
um, because y'all know, you know, my man moved out here when we when we got pregnant. So it was just like, okay, there was a moment where we were like, okay, what's going on? We got to figure out the job yeah. situation. We got to do. I'm fine. I was fine with that because I was like, all right, you got a job. I don't know if it's the one that's gonna sustain. Let's figure something else out. And right. he was down to be like, all right, well, what are we doing? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like these are the next good moves. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. So now we get to a point where he does make more money than me, and I'm like, that I will always could see. I could always see it like, all right, he's trying to get here. There was a big move. Like there was circumstances that I mm-hmm. felt like. But duality, like, yeah. That, that you just, could, that you could gonna bypass. Be, they were going to, they were going to change too. Mm-hmm. But it, Cause that also, wasn't the end all be all. Mm-hmm. If you, what partner are you willing to do that with? Mm-hmm. If your yeah. partner is able to do that. Cause at the end of the day, you going to be up here sometimes. They're going to be down here. But that's, that's where y'all balance each other out. That's like Tabitha's story though. Tabitha Brown. Mm-hmm. Her husband was a cop in LA. And he, she, I think she told him, give me five years. And it took her 15, but but now look, if everybody yeah. would criticize her because he quit his job. Wow, they she recently, right? To, she told him to quit his job. I retired my husband, I retired my husband because, 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 because I, he held it down for because her. Because he held it down for her. And it's I feel like in a relationship, you going to be up at some times and your nigga going to be up at some times. Sometimes right. I'm down. It's been times when I've been down and my nigga really didn't, didn't came through. Mm-hmm. It's been times when my nigga down and I'm like, well, that's what I'm here for. You know what I mean? Right. So it's like if we can't teeter talk off off of each other and it's off, and I feel like it's always me, 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 me. Right. That, I'm... And I feel like that's me <laughs> financial because I love whenever you be like, oh, I had, I was swamped with stuff and so I had to pull out the other cricket and Drake got to... Yeah, zzz, zzz, definitely. Like, like in all aspects, but definitely financially, I feel like it's it says a lot especially coming from a person that was raised in a single parent household. Yep, that's the one. I don't want I don't want to feel like my mama. You know what I mean? Ooh, like girl. like the 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 Ooh, goal is girl. to be better and do better. Right. That's the thing. So right it's there. like if I I mean I could do bad by myself, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. I wouldn't be in a relationship yeah, with with a nigga if yeah. if I don't feel like he could bounce off of my weaknesses and I right. could bounce off of his. So. Yeah, I I think I think like that's like honestly one of like my fears of like why I wouldn't date somebody that makes less than me mm-hmm. because like I just, I just feel like black women are treated like fucking mules. We work our fucking selves. And we got to carry everybody on our fucking back. I don't want to. I don't want to. That's why I'm not having kids. I don't, I don't want to carry. I want to pack light. I want to pack I light. Do, I've even had a conversation with Dre just about, like, what I expect out of my relationship. If, if you know, if we're going to do this, we're going to do this. I want to feel like I, I'm being taken care of. You know what I mean? Like, definitely I'm going to contribute to whatever yeah, we like, have going on but i need to feel like i don't want to feel like i'm the i'm in my soft girl era right. like i really want to be in my soft girl era i don't want to feel like i have to be that that um super overly independent black woman oh, that that makes That's sure that you know that everything is taken care of because there's nobody else to to depend on i've grew up like that you know what i mean that's not something that i want for myself right. so i made that known from the beginning I want to be taken care of. Like, right. I will yeah. be a housewife, but I feel like I can't just be a housewife. I need to be a yeah, a work-from-home housewife. But yeah, still, I, you know I what I mean? Like, I feel like, you know, that just comes from, you know, you being a woman that's ambitious. You're not just going to let that ambition be idle. And, I, mm-hmm. I, that's, and that's understandable. But I just feel like, like I said, I want to pack light. Mm-hmm. So No, for real. It's for just real. like, because... Bag lady hit different it when hit you different. get older. It hit so it different. Yeah. And it's it just like, it's just like when you think about it, like, even the Queen Nas version, uh, I don't even like that. Okay, hug. okay, you know we all. I ain't never even heard you. You got to bring that up. <laughs> we know we hate that. It's bitch. good, but it's not the same I like energy. I just like yeah. the. I like the. the melody. But no, I'm saying like that's why I feel like for me. Yeah. I get I get really apprehensive when, like you know. I, I meet somebody and they be like, you know, I'm kind of down, and I'm like, oh, oh by, yourself, no, by yourself, no, by yourself, by no, yourself, no, yeah, no. by yourself. But I do, I, I will say, you know, circumstances definitely have a duality to them. So if it's somebody that, you know, I know he has the ambition, I know he's working hard, and he's will, he's going to change the situation in six months or less. That's different. But you niggas that be like, I'm down right now. Thing, no, here's my thing too. And I know we, I know we hate this, so we say one, but I'm gonna be keep it a book. One thing I know with like, uh, for example, when I used my situation with my man, when he moved down here, I was like, it's one thing, one thing for certain, two things for sure. If he's fucking around and he's playing, you know, slow footing, he not gonna be able to do that with me. Right. And I was like, I knew, like, I'll be like, how many jobs you apply for today? Wait, what's this one? Uh, right. And you know, he had got a job, and I was like, okay, that's good, we got a job, but now let's try to get another one because this one ain't gonna cut it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. And I'm like, you know, it sounds bad, and it sounds like 
maybe even naggy, but I'm like, I was on his ass because I was like, these, I want to be with you. And we have made a move. Like we said, circumstance, we made a move together. We decided, okay, we're going to live in Houston. This is what it's going to be. Somebody's going to quit their job, right? We made, it was you, Kurt, great, let's get it. But now I'm on your ass because we're going to make sure that we can be, the, I'm mm-hmm. going to make sure we can be together at the standards that I want to be together mm-hmm. at. No, definitely. So, I don't think you were, definitely. Like, yes, you were, at the end of the day, you were still holding him accountable. I was, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You were holding Account- him accountability. Accountability is like, yeah, that's the, yeah. that's so the name of the game. I don't feel like you necessarily get on his ass. Yeah. You may have been like that, but right. not really, you're holding him it's accountable. Un- it's but definitely you, uncomfortable. You know, it's true. And it was. Yeah. Like, yeah. But I will say this, though. Accountability can either be a uh, motivation or it can be a nag. And that's just depending on what he wants to do. Mm-hmm. So if he and was, had it been a nag, it was if, his if he, if he was motivated, agree. if it was, if he yeah, was motivated, here. hello. And then it would have been a red flag if it he would have been, been like been pushback. You know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. And I also feel like you know it kind of depends. You know everything is like how you how you dish it out too. Because yeah, I was also like, okay, so where you applying it? Indeed, okay, give me a login. Let's get it. You know what I mean? And so that was also I feel like oh, a, a motivator. Yeah, okay, bitch, we're trying to get up out of the hood. <laughs> exactly. So you and then you were as long with you nagging, you on the computer. Right, and so and I when your birthday is again, so I okay. guess I want to amend my it's, thing. Yes, okay. I can social. I can date a man who makes less than me, but there's always gonna be a caveat. Yeah, that's the thing. It's gonna be a caveat, and it can't be. Too Ooh, much less than me. Yeah. yeah. It was willing what you willing And to then it's like, especially like, I, I like, I like really manly men. Mm-hmm. So I just feel like, you know, a lot of times men, they be like, I want to be the breadwinner. You could do that. That's fine. <laughs> Did that turn y'all on like for your man to be like the breadwinner though? Ooh, so, yes. I like more of like, um, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I just want to feel secure. So I want to, I want a man that, uh, babe, I, I, I saw this table in the store, but it's a thousand dollars. You think you could rebuild that for That's me? That's what I was gonna say. That you know what time. I mean? Yeah, Bri, I be building shit, and it don't even have to be nothing really, because I be getting shit from Amazon. I be like, I can't. <laughs> right. And he put that shit together, and I be like, That's the one. This bitch. Yeah. Right. But see, Dr- yeah. Dredd wasn't a big like <laughs> handyman. He wasn't a big handyman when we first started dating, and then he's slowly becoming more of like I a agree. handyman. And I love that. If you know how we be saying like the girls be saying like, oh, you know, we, the men don't be tiling the roof and shit no more. Maybe we did, haven't given them enough time yet. Maybe they still in their twenties. My dad and, because that. Breon is. I feel <laughs> yeah. like that. Like no, Breon's daddy is like a. I don't know. He do plumbing or some shit, right? Mm. And but he's really handy. Like he didn't rebuild their whole fucking house, put shilling fan. I'd be like, you don't get none of that shit from your daddy. But as <laughs> we get older, no, I'm starting yeah. to see it. He's got a little drill it. now. And well, I'm like, what's like, happening? He had to I, grow it to the middle. Yeah. Because my dad jokes about this all the time. Like he'll well with me because my sister got a whole nigga. But he'll be like. These dudes ain't out here. They not really out here getting dirty. Like, my dad will come out here and fix my car, fix my sister's car, go to my grandma's house, do this. But that's just how my dad is. That's, that's the type of person. He's good with his hands. But he'll say all the time, I'm not no motherfucker. But okay. I just feel like, you know, but, all men are not like that. Because, like, my yeah, daddy. That's what I said. My daddy, he'll he be like, pay. I'll pay for it. Right, right. My daddy like that, too. Like, but so I, I also it. feel like the men in the 90s were grown. Or, like, we always be saying it. We be seeing pictures of, like, older, uh, you know, just, men. From, and they would be the like, yeah, they look older. Old. Yeah, they my get dad, older. Our men were a little bit more than, than our parents were able to be kids a little bit more. Exactly. And hopefully, our sons will be able to be kids longer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they childish the asses. Of going two years of college and saying, I want to be on my own. I'm going into the military. Because he Your didn't daddy? want... My dad, yeah. He did two years on Lamar, then went straight into the military. Because he was like, I want to be able to take Lamar? care... No, my, my parents went to the grocery store. It was low-key a setup. But anyway, okay. uh, oh. it, I think it was... I just know your both Whatever. your. I'm like both your parents went to Lamar. That's crazy. No, my my dad is five years older than my mom. Oh, okay. My mom actually went to school with his with his younger sister, but she was older than my mom too. It, girl, part of the smallest. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Got, like, got, okay. got, got you. But yeah, but I I feel like like y'all were saying like he had to eventually go into it. I feel like men don't reach certain certain phases of their life. Right. Like how we got to be children mm-hmm. for a long time because our parents put us in that lifestyle of like, you know what? I want my baby to enjoy this. Mm-hmm. I want my baby to have that. So I feel like every generation kind of like <laughs> softens <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But eventually it'll yeah. come out. Because I don't, because when you said the breadwinner thing, I kind of got a little triggered because in my head, I've seen, like my mom, after my parents divorced, you know, it was a two-parent home. My dad was making the money, right? My mom didn't have to lift a finger. But I saw my mom grind. Like, after right. my parents got involved, my mom was grinding. She was grinding. She was going to PV, grad school. She was working. She was taking to school. My grandma was taking. So I saw both sides. And then my mom remarried. And then I also saw the An- disaffect, the defects with when the woman making all the money. Right. And the man not making his money. Yeah. I saw a lot of battling. Yeah, you've seen so mm-hmm. it was like, so for me, because it was a lot of belittling towards my mom. 
in a sense, like making her to feel make him more masculine. More masculine. More masculine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna get too deep in it because you know. That's but why the nigga gotta make more money me, than me. I rather come into the situation having my own, and that's why I really take that whole equally yoke thing seriously because I want us to both come in at the same mindset. Yes, I got my own money. But I do want to be my, I do want to be a nurturer. I do want to, you know, eventually have a kids. I do want to do all that stuff as a woman. But I want to, like Tim said, I want to be secure in that. So yeah, I, can I don't do that yeah. for you. I don't think like our 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 goal was to be like the nigga make all the money. I do nothing. We know yeah. that that yeah. Like, that is that is not feasible in in this economy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, because no, we don't have to. We, yeah, we like I feel I feel like we like and yeah, we both we are gonna have to work. But I want I want it to be to where if my husband says, hey, you don't have to work. I'm going to be like, I'm going to still work because I have a shopping addiction. However, I want my husband to be like, you know what? Yeah, I can take care of it. And then I want to be that person that says, okay, you let me keep all of my money for some months. Let me take care of the mortgage now. Or let me my take care got of the two car jobs. Now. I don't need this like, shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh. I, hope, I do hope to get to a point where, where we can all say that like our men are able to say like you don't have to work or we can be like, and you don't have to work. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, if I want to do I hope we're able to get to that point. Because I thought sometimes it was beautiful her retiring her husband. Yeah, that was a blessing. Sometimes we, and I feel like I love couples like that because when we had these conversations I'd be like damn neither like I'm, I feel like we're in a good place our baby eating every night we all good but mm-hmm. neither one of us are able to be like yeah you don't have to work it's like we both we miss a paycheck and we looking at each other like what we about to do you know what I mean who finna go sell plasma way. and they say that most Americans are one paycheck away from you know being homeless and so I just can't wait to get to that point where we're like grinding you know what I mean because I'm like yeah. the, the, y'all said 65 I'm like that's where we're at we're at that yeah. between 45 and 65 yeah. you know and it's like girl that shit yeah, is hard our is going yeah. high, the age is going uh, higher it's I so hard it's it's motherfuckers, gotta, motherfuckers gotta make 100k just to be girl all right comfortable right Oh, yeah. God, yeah. My dad took on extra years. He could have retired probably around 60, 63. So my dad took on extra years so he could help my sister with school. You know what I'm and saying? And it's just like, like... Shit like that. Like, just, just in the future. She wasn't even in college for real yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He did that just because shit is sick. I have, a, I have a friend who makes almost 100K, and I'm like, you know, I've seen their house, and I'm like, oh, okay. Like... In my head, I'm like, oh, you making 100K? You, uh-uh. Well, you know, he's at 100K. You making 100K? Shouldn't you be big balling? Big? I'm like, that uh-uh. shit is real. I seen a tweet that said that like 100K really ain't nothing. Niggas was like, y'all don't think y'all always saying stupid ass shit. And I was like, it's yeah, really not. Really ain't Especially shit. like uh, after you didn't got your got your motherfucking tax the motherfucking down, you didn't pay for your health care benefits, doing no vision and all of that shit, then put money in your 401K, you didn't got a Roth IRA and all of this shit, you not bring it home really not, you not really bring it home that much. Girl, and you gotta make three Cars are expensive rent. right now. Uh, gas uh, is high as hell. Gas, groceries. Hell. High as hell. Uh, love the fuck? The only thing cheap is clothes. Cause Coochie that went up too, shit. <laughs> she <laughs> ain't went up them dollars. I'm she ain't going up. Now. Yes. Yeah, it is. Girl, like, yeah. I'm talking about bitches want to charge two forty five. Oh, and, do, like and you can't in. and you can't go have a good time because it costs three fifty just to sit down. <laughs> no, for Listen, real, no, no man. They gonna, they gonna, you they gonna, pay. They gonna tax you twenty dollars to park. Forty gonna, in Houston. They, okay, they, they might tax you for cover to get in if Bro, you have a section. Might. If you got a section, that's three fifty. Can't just even to sit breathe down. the then air. You gotta pay three fifty for a bottle. Yeah, like, and that's a, one a bottle. bitch is behind you. Gotta you gotta have a pound of five hundred dollars at the and crawfish ten ninety nine a pound. That's crazy. Bro, dog. Remember them hoes used to be like two, three. Let me tell you something. Louisiana, I used to get my crawfish for two ninety nine a pound. Oh, Big crawfish. Yeah, and we live. And we live. And we live on the Gulf. It came with the corn so, potato. Bro, it came it with it. Came I didn't have to didn't add it on. It on. That's fucking corn potato was three fucking dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I like going to crawfish. <laughs> this is an injustice. Oh. I started boiling my own potatoes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's taking it. Forget with you. My, I take it. I take it in the restaurant with me. I just uh, take my eggs and shit in a in a uh, ziploc bag. Where you where, where you go? L.A. Crawfish Shack. Mm. I love. That's my favorite. Oh, it's my. Favorite. That's my favorite. Hey, you know, I, about, I need to give me some shrimp. I was talking to Bria. She I was know. like, she thought it was nasty, and I was like, you is your taste buds is burnt. But See, I didn't like Sam. Sam. No, no, Sam BBs. BB's. No, I didn't like didn't BBs. Love this. So yeah, she were Sam's butt was Sam's okay. Was I didn't really think Sam's butt was that good. It was okay. I want to try H E B's. No, H E B's is fine. Is it good? H E B's good as fuck. I ain't had it. I need to go get some. I this season, but H E B's be good. My only thing is, I like to eat my shit hot, hot. Yeah. You know, you got to Unless you go to that one by like Tati where you used to live on the Southwest, where they got the benches and shit outside. Yeah, outside. Woo. Yeah. But a lot of H E B's don't be having no like little sitting areas. So. Anywho, I feel like we've gone so long. Yeah. What time is it? It's time past 10. Oh, well. So, um, we can talk to y'all. 
Yeah, so we're going. We'll go. Do y'all have anything I want to add for we? Um, um. Before no, we, we can just start positive affirmations. Great. How does that sound bad? Anybody got some? Oh, I actually, I actually wrote mine down. Hold on. I guess my affirmation. I don't know if this is affirmation, like a, a a line, but you know, like take time for yourself. You know, pour back into yourself. Fill your own cup. Mhm. Okay, so I actually have a like couple. Kind of goes with mine. I have a couple. Um, let me get to the date. The first one is if you want something done right. Do it yourself. Mm-hmm. I knew she was going <laughs> Hold on, I got another one. Um, you are a bad bitch. There's no contest. Mm-hmm. And also, um, Beyonce was a rookie when she had a song with Luther Vandross. That means you can be a rookie and have a song with the greats too. Okay. I thought well, my iPad it. died, but if I could just think of one off the dome. I'm that girl. I'm that girl. I'm that girl. It's just that. I'm that girl. <laughs> off the top, bitch. Yes. I'm sorry. Not, not me not knowing that came off. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see me take mine off earlier? From the top of okay. The mine is, I actually said this on accident to a friend because we was going through this. We're going through the same season right now. Mm. Um, you are a girl. You are a good person. You are. Amen. But, but be a better person for yourself. Ooh. Amen. I like and that. When I said that, I was like, bro, I said that. Yeah. Dang, I need to put that on a shirt. Just be encouraged, y'all. Be encouraged. No, but be yes, encouraged. definitely be encouraged. You are a yes. good person, but be a better person for yourself. Real talk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you huh. have to encourage yourself. Yeah, like <laughs> Please, Please stop. So. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, and on that note guys yeah, thanks nervous. for tuning in <laughs> yeah. see y'all next week bye y'all two weeks. I'm about to end two, two weeks later two weeks. they kicking us oh, out follow us on all the stuff bye 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 they kicking us out he said uh so okay man he's gonna kick us out he's gonna kick us out kicking us out he said it's time for us to go